no 480p 480 i like 90 percent is shit on the ps2 That looks fine to me. This game's no scary. I've played it before, it's actually fucking awesome. Best clock tower game. Don't at me! It's because it's like different and no annoying. It's the first one that's made by Capcom. Capcom own the rights to clock tower. Genuinely think the OG was a kind of cool because it was a point and click, but some frustrating shit in them. This game is a 3D Roman, similar to Haunting Ground. Actually, this this came out before Haunting Ground. You know. Because Haunting Ground was also a clock tower in the making, but changed later on, you know. I would say this game is consistently better than Haunting Ground, even though Haunting Ground's beginning and early middle are like absolutely like fantastic. Like better than this. I don't know, it's kind of like, like the beginning of uh, Haunting Ground in that is. Pretty special in that, you know? It's like, whoa, why could they not have kept that up throughout the whole game? But at least Clock Tower 3 has a bit of a consistency to go with it, you know? I do, like, compare the two a wee bit. Yeah, I have beat this game before, and I? I'm no new game plusin. No. 2002, we're playing a 20 year old game. Just so you know, that's how we roll around here. Just remember like being a kid, you don't give a shit about any options. Nowadays I'm like going everything. Check it out. Could be some secret shit in here. No hard modes, please. Just is it is it just one mode? Yeah. Yeah, we got a night off. <laughs> Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger 15. more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. 15. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Good job Bob's not here. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me. <laughs> oh yeah, the collector's edition Mom, for RE4 I'm was sold out last night. I could have got one if I wanted, but I was like, no! No! No, then they do it. <laughs> I 
I held back, you know. It looks shit anyway. You know? Yo, this game's graphics... 20 years old. Well, honestly, PS2 was legit. Um, excuse me. Capcom was legit. Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> Just calm down, sir. Oh yeah, this isn't a tank control game, is it? No. Don't know. No, it's no. Um, I can't remember, like, how to play. I've only ever played this game once, so... Oh, yeah. So I don't know the ins and outs, so it's kind of like... We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, what is this? Yes. That's right. We crawl on the floor where... That's hilarious. Stealth games, you know. The light from the fire casts a reddish glow. I can't remember if I ever used that crawl feature. By the way, those are Resident Evil door noises. Yeah. I really hope Clock Tower makes a comeback one day, and I'd kind of prefer if they done it in the style of this game. I would. It's been three years since he left. All right. I'll read all the files, actually, because I kind of want to remember, you know, the story of the game and that. Much of an inkling on where to go, eh? Oh, wait a minute. Lavender water. I cannot even remember what that shit does. Two doors to your room? That would suck. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Oh wait, these do kind of ring a bell. I think you need to pour water on them or some shit. The panic meter. Yeah. Panic meter rises. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. If attacked in a state of panic, she'll die. Not really. Can't remember it being that bad. Can we get in here? I don't think it really plays like a clock tower game. That's the thing, eh? Because I have played the OG OG on PS1 because they made a port for it actually, which is pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I found that version pretty good. Um, but like, the way Clock Tower was going, the real PS1 game, didn't really like that too much. I've never even played the second one, but I do like this. The crawling's awesome. I mean, like, we're just... It's a stealth game, dude. <laughs> dude, every woman was crawling in the PS2 era. Like, did you ever see, like, Lara Croft, Angel of Darkness? You know? Looks like a bottle and a letter down there. Sacred bottle. Nancy's letter. Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully, but if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house. For your protection, I am giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use the holy water. Holy water uses. Exorcism. If you're ever threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant and it will cause them to halt temporarily. Destroying sigils. To break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle water on them. Yeah, I remember that. Replenishing holy water. Remember that the holy water you have... There's not unlimited supply. You can refill that from the sacred jars or the lion drinking fountains. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of unnatural causes uh, has unfinished business in the living world. In order to prevent, to protect yourself, you must heal their wounds. To do so, you must find their sentimental item. This is all my fault, by the way. But I'll do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you. More than anything else in the world. Mum. Definitely English, otherwise it would be M-O-M. Yeah. Okay. So, they use that, like the key item. Can we equip that or summon? I forget how it works. Yeah, but this, this game plays really cool. You know what I mean? Like, I actually really like it the most out of all the clock towers I've played. But yeah, did you ever play Angel of Darkness? You know what I mean? It's like, everybody just used to crawl about with her on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Japan cracks me up. Right, so, uh, yeah. Um, now nah, you can't really crawl that much in the game, I don't remember. Because, like, the dudes are, like, actually, like, f chasing you, so, like, you can't really crawl about. Huh? What are you? So when are you heading to Japan? 
someone's behind that door. Yo. Going to Dub Wita? Dub Wita in Shenmue Land? <laughs> oh, you ever seen these games, Koroi? It's, it's just like, um... Capcom are pervs. They, they always have been. It's like, we, we respect it. It's our age, though, that gets me. Well, I've got no problemos here. It's not really a continuation of Clock Tower 1 and 2 either. It's like a own separate thing, you know? Man, I hope they bring it back. Like a new one or something. Complete with schoolgirls. Might as well. Mum. I came back home. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. <sighs> Where are Cherry you? blossoms. Oh, nice. Yeah, cool. That would be cool for the Halloween. <gasps> yeah, the snares one, yeah. The snares one's cool. It's actually quite cool. Where's the sound coming from? Who's doing that? Are you going on your own or are you going with anyone, uh, Pixel? Do -do -do -do. Hmm. I can respect going on your own to a place like that, do you know what I mean? Because I've always wanted to go on my own. Could meet up with Mitch over there. He lives in Japan. Yeah, Mitch lives in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, man. That would be sick. I'd be getting loads of shit if I was over there, you know? Something's holding the door. Yeah. What about any consoles? 
Or just games? <laughs> the ring. Give me back my ring. Bitch. That explosion, but it looks as though he was burnt by someone. An empty ring box. Did someone steal the ring? Spiritual healing. When you find a sentimental item that belongs to a person who died of unnatural causes, return it to the rightful owner. If it is a ring, put it in its case. If it's a heart, if it's a half heart pendant, put it together with the other half. By returning these sentimental items, spirits are healed and Alyssa may obtain another item or valuable information in return. Oh, you mean the original Famicom? Right on. Yo, Tom. Sigil Stone. We'll take an attack on your behalf just once. So drinking fountain shaped like a lion. You can save your game data and refill the holy water. What have you been up to, Tom? No fire emblem stuff today. You disappointed or what? Oh, the console before the Famicom? Oh, right, aye. The NES one. I keep forgetting. You can hear a piano. Is it coming for the hall over there? Probably. I actually really like the combat in this game for being so simple. Like, it's actually satisfying splashing people with water. Which you'd think it wouldn't it be, but it is. You know what I mean? You just, you can actually hold it as well. Wait, can you? Just like, bam, you know? I thought you could hold it. Maybe it's something you get later on now. Well, what can you do? Man, she really moves like a girl, you know? She actually does, though. Oh, there's a ghost area. It's covered in bloodstains, the victim's belongings? The entry begins, my darling must be addressed to her fiancé. My darling must be addressed to her fiancé. Okay. Yeah, you can stun the ghosts with the, with the water, but... What are you playing tonight? Use playing anything tonight or gold fountain pen? Hmm. Maybe I'll put that over there. <laughs> Shh. 
shiny fountain pen. Invisibility band. I remember barely using anything. Ring worn for temporarily and in temporary invisibility. I'll leave that now. Good graphics. Nice one, Toga. Only took you a couple of days. She actually teabags. More water. So what's next on the agenda for you? I think this is where we meet the first stalker. Dad's letter. Dear me, how are you? I'm now in France, in a region known as Champagne. Oh really? It's a beautiful place with, with vineyards, as far as the eye can see. When the war is over, we must come here together for a holiday. I hear that they have organised for blackouts in London. Now, I am sure that you are fine during this day, as Jane is there. But I worry about you being alone at night. You'll be alright, won't you? Keep warm. With love, Dad. Uh, the stalkers can get annoying in this game, because, like, running away from them, running back, running away, running back, running away. And I'm serious. That's like, I feel like it was my only gripe with the game, but you can't do much about that. Eh? It's, like, actually the game. Yeah, I can hide in here and that. I find the stalkers more funny than scary. Uh, they're no scary in this. I don't think this game's scary. Probably God of War. Oh, dude, I can't wait for God of War. I actually pre-ordered God of War today and got, like, about 15 bucks off it through a point system. Like, I, I, a couple of the places I order online have, like, a point system, which I really like. Um, so you can get money off with like multiple purchases. Do you know what I mean? Dude, 65 pound over here for God of War, which is insane money. I got like 15 bucks of it or something with the points that I had accumulated. You know, like what's 65 pound in your money? Like $73 it says. So, like, that's so expensive for, like, one game, you know? But, like, do you use the, like, like order from people who do, like, point systems like that? Because I feel like that's, you kind of got to do, st it was still, still more than I like paying for a game, so it came down to, like, 55. But uh, that's still more than I like paying for a game, you know? So, 65 pound. That's, like, the most expensive game I've bought in fucking years. 65. $73. Because that's how much they're charging for first party Sony games right now. It's ridiculous. You can barely control her. I can't even remember Pixel. 
scan recipes? What? How can you scan food? I would like to get that Uncharted collection. I would actually quite like to get that. I'm sure we do meet the first stalker in here, not? Am I tripping? Maybe you're right though. I just feel like running away. I feel like I remember running away from him in here. Hey, there's that's probably the way forward. Yeah, I'd like to get the Uncharted collection. I don't think they've done a PS5 version. Um, but they've done like a PS5 update, no? Christmas tragedy, young pianist brutally murdered. I quite like the way they introduced them, actually. Oh yeah, man, I I can I, I complain. The, the hits case sucks. It's like the cheap version. That's kind of how I've always seen those kind of games. It sucks, but I do. I've got like one hits version out of all my collection and it just looks like the odd one out, you know? Yeah. Young Pian is brutally murdered. Christmas Day 1942. Paul Mall. May Norton. Age 12, was found murdered in Norton's The Tailor. She was discovered by Norton family nanny Jane Stride, who returned home to find the victim unconscious, bleeding from the head. An autopsy was revealed that it was instantaneous death, caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy blunt object. No, subject, no suspects have been named. The victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in Kensington the previous day. A consummate pianist, Miss Norton, was wildly tipped for first prize, but an unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. May had been living at her home alone since her father, William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the front in July. Junkie, what brings you in here? Yes. That's what I mean. She's like 12 years old. <laughs> I killed her. Yes. He did. Alyssa. Evade points and hide points. When Alyssa is fleeing from an enemy, certain predetermined areas may start to glow. These are evade points and hide points. Approach the area and press the search button to make sure Alyssa take evasive action or repel her attacker. Note the, that most evade points can only be used once. Press the search button while in front of the hide point and Alyssa can take refuge there. The camera will switch to a first person view while in hiding. Hide points can be usually repeated, but if the panic meter reaches max while in hiding, Alyssa will run out of run out from her hiding place. Always keep an eye on the panic meter. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn, I just re reached a dead end there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> this guy cracks me up though. Do you see what I mean though? No, like her game's like that that chick's supposed to be 12 years old. She just got fucking brutally murdered on screen. Like, they can't do that anymore. They will need do that anymore. Do you know what I mean? When's the last time they do that shit? Yeah, the acid guy. He's fucked up, actually. These are actually the RE3 sound doors, specifically. Should have went in here first. Yeah, I know you were here yesterday, Junk. I'm just saying what brings you in here. The desk is clean and well organized. Hmm. Yeah, because they want you to grab that key first, man. That, that's. I'm so bad for that sometimes. Trying to do the other thing before, because we could have came in here before meeting him, you know? Maze room key. Right. Take the diary. Maze diary. 5th of December. Today I had learned that Daddy's socks Today I darned daddy's socks and sewed a button on his shirt. What does darned mean? He calls himself a tailor, but he can't even mend his own clothes. Please, I'm no your wife. Right. Only a few more days until the concurs and I can still, and I still can't play it perfectly. What am I to do? I know dad is wishing me well, from far away, so I must try my best. Don't worry, I'll make you proud. Any other goods in here? Invitation. Hmm. Oh, shit! Alisa. You're in trouble? Buggered him. Let me check the invitation. Invitation to the concert hall. Use for piano. All right. I, I, I can't remember the ins and outs of this game, so I'm still kind of like winging. Too sure if this game's expensive now or anything. Alisa. Um, like I don't know if it's.
It's not, I don't think it's like too expensive if you want to like get it in a collection or anything. It's not like some stupid crazy number, you know? Like it's an affordable game on the PS2 if you want to put it that way. Damn, he gone already? Okay. Christmas Eve, 1942, 15th annual piano concourse. I don't even know how, am I pronouncing that right? Really? Yeah. Still quite a bit, actually. But I would say it's one of the more cheaper ones, like Haunting Grounds probably more and all that. Save it everywhere. Save it again. Take the water. How's God of War been going, no toga? Jubbly. Almost done with the Ace Attorney games though, Tom, or? Okay, so where are we going now again? Because like, I don't know. Whoops. A note is scribbled on a tiny scrap of paper. Safe combination equals bad. Babe and dead. So 103 then.
Hmm, we don't think we can press it there to to get on it, can we? Don't think so. It's, it's been like <clears throat> I can't remember when I played it last, but it's kind of a wee bit fresh in my mind, but I don't know where to go or anything. Mm, I think we can swing a right here. Yeah. Oh no. Special key. Hmm. No. You seen this game? Did you see me play this game before Junkie? So I'm trying to remember if it was just Bob that was in here. Oh, you did see. What, you were here? Oh. How did he see me? I was hiding. I feel like I remember being stuck at this bit before. I mean, that was the really a hiding spot, I guess, so it's my own fault, but... Oh shit. What I'm trying to remember is where do we go here? Because I feel like I got stuck at this bit before, but... Oofed! Alright, man, fuck. We need a special key. I don't think we can get up there, though. By, like, standing on it now. Keep stage devices raised at all times, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go, there's a... Yeah, we need to get in the side bit there, but need a special key, and I'm not even sure where we get it. Yeah, we can't get in there. Can't get in here. Where's a special key? I don't have a special key, do I? No. I feel like I remember, like, missing something stupid here at once. Are you watching any scary shit this weekend, Junkie? Scary pinhead movies or what? It said safe combination was bad. So, like, 103 or so? Wait. Ah, right, I thought you needed a key for this. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The do 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 do. All right. I'm pretty sure some of the dudes are a wee bit choreographed, though. That's what I remember. Um, you know. Like, they show up at annoying times because they have to. You know what I mean? Like that.
And I need water now. Shit. Is he coming back in here? Get out of here. Please. I need water though. Alicia, where are you? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I need water. And I just used it. Gotta be a water fountain somewhere in the in this place. Yeah, the doors the, the door noises are, are lovely in this game because they're just razy. I feel at home. You know what I mean? No? Do I need to go outside in order to get water? That would be shit. Okay, I got lavender water. Can't fill it up with that, can you? Let me check. Um, alleviates panic. Oh no. Let's know what I'm after. There's got to be some water in here, no? Do 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 do. Wait, I don't remember this bit being trouble actually. I don't think I remember this being trouble. Come on now! You're mine now. Guy followed me, you know. It's too dark and dangerous to cross. <gasps> no. Lanterns no let. Oh, I need to go outside in order to get water. Bummer. I'm pretty excited for four. Fucking move it. I'm pretty excited for four, mate. I think it's probably going to be the more better RE. You know, is it something that interests you or not? Yeah, what do you think, Junkie, though? You never give your opinion. As an old school RE fan, but you never like. You never tell me what you think. But I've, I, I, that's why I've done a wee video for it on the YouTube, seeing you comment, and we appreciate the comments on the vids. Like, it does help. Although, I, I, it helps with that. What's that word that they use? The professional YouTubers? Alicia, where are you? Content. Algorithm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. How could I tell he was coming? It's not. Honestly, like, these games are not scary. On purpose. Christ, they're made for babies nowadays. Do you think they would really make a game so scary that nobody could fucking play it and buy it? That's not how it works now, Tom. Yeah, you'd be surprised how far that that I, like people say that. I never say that in my videos, but you'd be surprised how like asking people to do it actually does help, you know? You know? Dude, I, like, my latest video for the Fire Emblem, remember I was telling you, like, 95% of people watched it who are not subbed for that one. Fuck you! You know? <laughs> Just thinking that I was. 
95. Betches, you know. Ooh. Alisa. Yes. Oh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Alisa. Do 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 do. Man, he cracks me up. Look, more than any of them. Wait, did I go the wrong way again? Alicia, where are you? Did I go the wrong way again? I fucking did, didn't I? Yeah, but they didn't do scary stuff anymore, man. You know, it's more like actually than scary, you know? Chilling. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. So cheesy. Oh shit. Oof. I'm trying to like run back and forth. I always remember this, but I'm trying to run back and forward so I can get in this door. Okay. Oh really? I need to play the other one first. Yeah. I really need to play the first one. I, I do have it installed. We should fucking play that, but I'm too busy with the October stuff of the day. I'll try and play it by that March for sure, though. Maybe there'll be someone we can play around Christmas time. Hmm. Hey, Junkie, what did you think of the RE4 remake? You never said a word, you know what I mean? I thought it looked good though, like as an actual, you know, looked hella impressive to me. I was impressed by it for the first time in a while. I've not been impressed by an RE in a long time. I'm always like faking it, you know what I mean? To people. Um, yeah, yeah, excited. Eh? <laughs> Whatever. But yeah. Yeah, 2023 is uh, going to be fucked up. Especially with a year getting kicked off with a new FE. Matches. Yes. That's what we need. It's a lovely piano here. A doo -doo -doo. Man, this game's sick. I don't know, it's just nice. 
I'm gonna go save it. How the fuck did he... How is he in there, though? Hey, that cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, but I'll probably play that Grand... Did you play Grand Master mode for Jedi Fallen Order? Because I'm kind of tempted to play that. Doesn't seem like kneeling down recovers that. I hope, like, I still have, like, a lot of time to play them. Like, because FE is the first game coming out. It's like finding time to take myself away from that game to play all the other ones. It's going to be tough going. <laughs> Fucking what? Who's that fair, you know? Yeah, probably be, I'll probably be a bit longer on the hard mode though, but I do want to play it. By the way, God of War is also coming out with like a 120 FPS option on PS5, which is really interesting. Shit, it's going that way, is it? Which I found interesting. Some of the console games are being so heavily optimized they're even getting a 120 FPS option. God of War is one of them. Pretty cool. Uh, a couple of games have done it. This guy is so annoying. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about this game? Eh? Just trying to get from A to B without the motherfucker killing me in between. Like, stop being annoying, you know? It's more annoying than scary. But, like, I like the way they go about it in this game. It's it's funny, you know? Um, there's a 120 FPS option. On... Christ, what is it again? Damn, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There is a 120 FPS option on some stuff. Oh wait, is it a PS5 first? Hmm. Because Xbox Series X has a 120 FPS option for Halo. I remember that one sticking out. So some games are getting so heavily optimized they get it, you know, but... And God of War is one of them, because essentially... 
It's also coming out on PS4, Tom. Which is like, still like last gen hardware, like think about it. So it's assets can be too demanding, you know what I mean? You think that's why it's getting a 120 FPS option. That, that, like, you only get 120 FPS option on a game like Demon Souls PS5 or something because it's specifically made for PS5. But because it it's also having to be a PS4 game, then I think that's why they're able to squeak it out, you know? Neo 2 has a 120 FPS option on PlayStation 5, but you have to sacrifice resolution for it, like 1080p. Which is still, a lot of people play at 1080p. I mean, what do you play? What do you guys play for your resolutions these days? I I'm targeting 1440p for, like, all of my shit these days. You know what I mean? Which is 2k. But, like, 1080p, the only thing that I'm, like, having that on is a Switch. Because there's no op- Because there's, like, no... Other option, you know? But I think most people who are playing on a TV probably still 1080p Oh, I forgot how to do this. Four K on PS Five X Boner. Yeah. I've actually went down to 1440p for the PS5 because, like, I'd rather have it known the checkerboard or whatever. So you get super sampled 4K, you know. They were saying, like, because cause I've, I've got a 1440p monitor, but it also does display 4K, it downscales it. But, like, I'd rather just have it on the 1440p and get the, downscale, uh, the super sampled 1440p. So kind of going with that for most things but it will only improve performance because you can't do anything like that for consoles but it will still look better than what I had before only goes up to 1080p on the TV damn Tom you need an upgrade son still 1080p TV in still though you know like a, a switch looks beautiful on a 1080p native TV you know it really does Um, oops. You think you'll get an upgrade at some point, or...? Yeah, I'm the same with my computer screen, but I only go 120 hertz, actually. You know, I don't really care for like 170 hertz. I think that's what mine's caps out at, but I don't just stick with the 120 because it's more of a standard than 144. But so I have the what do I need that for again? Standard pliers. Oh, yeah, I need that for the house. Yeah, but my, my, my one's a two, uh, 1440p, 100, I think it's 165, but it can do 170, but I wouldn't have it at that, so I don't know if there's any point, but, because I'm only looking to target games at 120 hertz anyway, you know, so. Like, some games only as well, like. I was playing uh, Bioshock 2 and that at 120 and all that, you know, just 
more older games rather than newer stuff. I could probably do 120 FPS for the new Resident Evil 4 remake, though. Probably pretty easy. Yeah. Oops. Well, I mean, if your TV is native 1080p, they still look awesome, you know. Oh, what? I didn't even know the fucking butterfly was trying to panic me. How am I supposed to deal with that shit? Yeah, getting a new TV is expensive though. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't get OLED. I don't know though. What do you think about the OLED conspiracy? You know, like who's afraid of burning around here? Me. Alisa. Did he see me go in there? Alisa, where are no one you? here anyway. Yeah, yeah, true. They do look. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like. My 1440p screen looks really nice, you know, like, dude, 1440p is like, what's up? But I did check the PS5 on my 4K tally and it looked pretty cool, but I really do prefer monitors these days for me. Yeah, I don't want burn-in pixel. OLED's best movie TV. Couldn't a game on it, Junkie? There's no conspiracy. It's just like, you know, you get burning, man. No, 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 um, no conspiracy or anything, Tom. It's just like, they're trying to like... I'm just scared of burning. I'm one of those. Scared of burning. Like, if you're playing like a game like this, see this, the HUD? Cause, like, it, it could burn in on the TV, you know, like shit like that. But I don't know, these things are made with like all that in mind now. But I, I when I get, if I get OLED, I want it like perfected. Do you know what I, rather than get it like spend so much on it and get burnt. Because like their warranty doesn't even cover burning. They didn't see it as a problem. You know, best viewing angles and contrast. Then he hit me with the tech bullshit junkie. When I'm watching a film, it's a film, okay? But I understand people who are like that stuff more, but I'm definitely know somebody that cares as much as maybe some movie addicts. Daddy, you're home, I like my pictures though. May, I have to tell you something important. I like a really good picture. To war. But it still doesn't enough to convince me to get someone like that. I hate the thought of leaving you here all alone. I feel dreadful. I'll be all right. But, but what about you? You'll miss me and be sad when you're in war, won't you? Yes, yes I will. You're the most precious thing to me in the whole world. But don't worry. Daddy, don't forget the piano concourse is on Christmas Eve. The winner will have their performance aired on the radio. I'll practice really hard and win the contest so that you can hear me when you're out in the war. That will be wonderful. The competition will be stiff, but if you go to your lessons and practice properly, I'm sure you can do Leaving 12-year-old girl I'll at home? Every day. I've already chosen the piece I'm going to play. Listen. Did they spell practice wrong? 
You told me this watch was a present from Mummy before you got married, remember? I'll play this tune on Christmas Eve, so you can think of Mummy and me. Then it'll be like we're all together again. Yeah, they did. They spelled practice with an S. Who spells it with a fucking S? Forty-two inches TV size. That's no monitor size. You know. Wow, it, it, he died. Shit. And she died. Murdered. Sucks. Hammer killer hanged. 10th of September 1941, Robert Morris. I think this game is based on real killers, you know. I think that's the gimmick of this game. The man known as the Hammer Killer has been hanged. Rumours regarding Morris's death were widespread. One witness reported he was hanging for a very long time, pulling on the straps and making unearthly noises, and blood was oozing through the black cap. The stench was terrible. Some witnesses fainted and were carried out. Morris's first victim was Tony Flanagan, 35, a fellow employee at the Banbury Stone Cutting Factory. On the 6th of June 1940, Morris suddenly struck Flanagan on the head with a hammer, killing him instantly. All five workers present were killed in the same manner. Morris disappeared thereafter. A string of similar crimes occurred until the time of Morris's arrest on the 6th of March in Arlington, Arlington, Hampshire. Morris's victims numbered 12. And no clear motive has been determined. Specialists continue to be baffled by the seemingly abrupt change in his behaviour, as well as the extreme violence of his crimes. Maybe I can save Mary if I get her father's pocket watch to her. I have to get the pocket watch to the hall. Yes. Yeah, what do you use things though? I mean, I used to use my TV as the a monitor when I did, but I was like, I never really considered it like monitor size. That was 45 inch, you know what I mean? So. Some people do though, like still have uh, used TVs. I think most, like a lot of people. But like, so that's what, remember you were saying a wee while ago, Tom, that you prefer like, oh, your couch gaming and stuff like that. There's always this big misconception that you can't have a PC with couch gaming. And it, that, that, that always kind of gets, baffles me because... Because, um... I used my TV as a... I played PC for years with my TV and you just treat the PC like a console, you know? So yeah, I don't know why, why people have that that look on it. Like, you kind of use um, a TV with a PC and treat it like a console because you just have the PC like a console. This is an interesting boss battle, this, the way they go about it. Yeah, controlling Alyssa. Move, duck with the circle button. Shoot arrow with triangle. Charge arrow with triangle. Super attack, hold down triangle with enemy transfixed. Special attack is R1. Above controls are default setting. Should have saved it. In order to defeat the enemy, Alyssa must tran first transfix it. By hitting the enemy with a charged arrow, hold down triangle. It is possible to fix them in one spot. 
several strategically placed chains will transfix the target. Aim so that the chains fan out from the target. Who should be in the centre? While the enemy is transfixed, Alyssa is able to carry out a super attack. It's no easy task, however. To hit the target with the arrow, watch the enemy's movements closely and wait for your chance. Duck can be used to avoid the attack by certain enemies. It may also cause them to become careless and vulnerable to attack. Press R1 to use the special arrow, such as the repellent arrow, in the order in which they were obtained. It is wise to save these weapons for special occasions. Yeah. Shoot arrow and then hold it down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, eh? So it doesn't really matter, you know? That's kind of how I went about it with, um, you know, my PC. Back when I was doing, um, back, back when it was exclusive to television, you know, like a TV. Yeah. I, I just think it's like a miscon... It's just like, I don't know who goes about saying that. I do hear that from a lot of console-only people. Oh, I prefer couch gaming with my console, and like you can't have your PC with couch gaming. Like, of course you can. I don't know where that came from. Like, sure, using a mouse here and there might be a wee bit awkward if you've not got a decent bit to use it on, but it's not like that's what you're using your PC for anyway all the time. You don't need to concern yourself with that, because you can always use a controller as well. It's like... No, it's definitely one of those things that baffles me, though. But I think it, when when people try it, they're like, "Oh yeah." Sledgehammer victims twenty six. Sentenced to four hundred and eighty six years. This is so cool. So I forgot exactly how to go about this, but... How'd that mess though? He's got eye frames. This is a lot harder than you think actually, just trying to like get that. Ooh. Like you can charge up one big gigantic arrow, but I forgot how to do this. <laughs> That just went through him. Oh no, I'm gonna die here.
I'm still not entirely sure what the hell. Yo, Bob, what's going on? I think the boss fights are pretty cool, though. Yeah, mouse and keyboard only. Yeah, yeah, no. I... Yeah, I think that that that's kind of how it goes. Like a lot of people need to take that step, comrade. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, but but people have to be willing to take it on their own. You know. Like, you can't force people to, like, try a uh, PC game in because, they're, like, you know, intimidated by it and that, you know? But, like, I think once they take it on their own, it's, it's the best way to go because there's no such thing as being limited by... Like, my, my favourite thing about PC as well is there's no... Oh, I can't play that game because there's no a PS5 version or an Xbox One version. You know what I mean? Like all these games that have came out on PC, just like Dead Space or something, like it plays in 4K to this day, and there's there's no need in remasters and all that. And you know that that's kind of like what I like best about PC. It's you can play so many games like without being limited to what the consoles decided to release. You know, that that's one of my more favorite things too. And you can play every game, you know, near enough. But people have to be willing to do it on their own, because like sticking with consoles, more than fine. Your father is dead. There was an explosion, a shell. What have you been up to, Bob? I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. I understand how you feel. I never even knew my father. I lost him soon after I was born. But I love my grandfather just the way you love your father. Keep this watch as a memento of your father and continue to practice the piano as hard as you can. You know that would make him happy. Like, if you had a PC as well, Tom, you'd be able to play your Final Fantasy you Pixel remasters, you know? You. At last, we can be together again. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, May. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. It's weird how they've no release team on anything else, though. So. Oh boy, what are you playing tonight, Bob? Anything? What was that? Have I been dreaming? Save that. That's the first guy down. I 
was a goner for sure. <laughs> Long time no see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years. What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When? And where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday <laughs> when your mother drove by in her car. Oops. <laughs> and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't... What is that all about? She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you really It does look like Emmy. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well... It looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on. That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? <laughs> Dex room key. Okay. Where is his room again? Um, yes, yes, crash. That's what it says. What are you up to? Early for you. I think this is the wrong way, too, is it? No. Oops. A dead body in here of all places. One of the lodgers? Yeah, I need to find Dick's room. Nancy. <laughs> Wait, have I been in here? Must be downstairs. So this one? Yes. Yes, that is a more funny, scary game, yeah. It's definitely a good one to play, do you know what I mean? It's like, kind of like, taking the piss a little bit. But I don't know if that's what they intended. I mean, it's hard to say, you know? The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? I, th I think maybe they did intend it to be a wee bit funny and no like creepy but like because like haunting grounds a wee bit more scarier in that regard you know but this one's a bit more light-hearted but to be fair the killings are brutal the way he killed the 12 year old girl and the murderers themselves are like the history behind them is brutal that's about the more scarier part of the game than anything you know shaved beard cool that's awesome Book of Entities 1. Entities have existed in human realms since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. The, the possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. 
Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from a victim's soul and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows then that the subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. The only certain humans only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and are subordinates, the ruders. Ruders who are always young women in their teens have been battling against these shadowy enemies for a hundred years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. Yeah, she's one of these rooters. That's that's what she is, you know, like sealing them away with a fucking... I don't know the ins and outs of it, but like, you know, how we bow and arrowed that motherfucker, you know? Rooters? Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness? Fifteen-year-old chicks. Who else? What, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's that? Entity? What's an entity? And the ruders? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? <sighs> she could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she travelling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey... One more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. He annoys me. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. Man, he annoys me. Just say that again. What? Yeah, what's the plan, Crash? You're never in here this early. Winding keys. Alright. Scribbled notes. I read that one. Hmm. Catch you later, Tom. Remake, I. Yeah. Yeah, Crash Man. Yo, we've been playing some Twilight Princess, Tom. We might play some of that later. I've not seen you in for it. But we are playing that a wee bit. But it's more later on when you're not here, I think. Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. No, like, excited or anything, like, over the moon for it, like, but... Would have preferred a Silent Hill 1 remake, but... Beggars can't be choosers, you know? Yeah, you can't really... It is what it is. What are we doing with these? Two winding... Key two keys used to wind a clock. Have I seen a clock? I don't know if I've seen a clock in here. Yeah, but like, dude, everyone's gonna fucking buy it, you know what I mean? It's like... Legit.
Yeah, I mean, everybody will buy it. My, my sale number will not make a difference. Like, do you know what I mean? You know it won't. But yeah, I don't know. It's like... Not like I don't want to buy Silent Hill 2. I just would have preferred the first one. It's just, I, I'm, I'm like really surprised they never went with the first one. Three o'clock, huh? Hmm. We need to get it to three o'clock. How? Hmm. Yeah. Well, see, though, the RE4 remake looks really good. You missed that yesterday. Yeah, but I, I really like playing on the old GPS, too. No bugs or anything. Picture's well cool. If you've got like an upscaler in that. Gonna play what? See, that's not going to work, is it? How are we going to get that to three o'clock? Like, how? It doesn't go to three, and I can't even control it. <laughs> hmm. See, it always goes two. Hmm. My god, I am like I have no clue how you would do this. Like the game the game doesn't even Yeah, I need to get it to three o'clock, but I have no control over where it goes. Like what? Like you can't even control it. When you press that one it goes a certain amount, when it when you press the left one it goes a certain amount. So how do you get it to three o'clock? Like, I, I need to know how the hell they want you to do that. Hmm.
Hmm. I don't think we're supposed to do anything here, but... Hmm. Oh, wait. What, it says there's a center option, but there's no... Oh. Yeah, cheated. Still hungry? Dude, you just ate a, like, what, kebab? Don't overdo it. Portal squares. Drawing the portal squares, as instructed, is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with light may the practitioner expect any groundbreaking results. Hmm. Need a drug where you can stop eating? I don't know about that crash. Martha! What's going on? We're missing you in here. It's not the same. What you been up to? There are all kind of books about witchcraft and hexes. What's this strange pattern on the ground? What on earth was the mummy doing here? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're fat. I mean, I don't know what to say to that, Crash. You know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Martha, too busy. Hmm. Uh, we'll miss you in here though. What else is going on? Playing anything to now? Like, you don't want to be fat forever though, do you, Crash? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know the. I don't know what other people would say as advice or anything, but if you keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, it could cause problems. Do you know what I mean? That's really what I mean. Still on the three houses, yeah. Yeah, you gonna get the expensive one or no? I think you should get the expensive one for the extra... For the extra space, Martha. Used to be skinny when you were 18. Dude, it's very, very possible for you to... Get yourself healthy again from, I don't know, I've no experience there, but like, see, I actually was fat once, once upon a time, um, because I was on steroids, but like, it's a wee bit different, because like, but if they make you eat and eat and eat and eat, you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know, like, you need to like, cut down the food though, I would imagine, but I don't know the best, you need to see a dietitian. that's actually probably the best way to go about it, 
I would say probably go to a dietitian. See when people try and stop smoking, they try and stop on their own. And it's really hard. It's, it's the same thing. I smoked since I was 15. For like 15 years, over half my life I smoked. But managed to give up because I was uh, a professional. Helped me do it, you know what I mean? With a, from the NHS. So, like, I would say you have to see a dietitian, and I genuinely mean that, and see what they would say about it all. I don't know how other people feel about it, but, like, that's probably the best way to go about it. Like, doing it on your own is probably going to be too difficult, man. Yeah, I think the anti-glare would be good. It's weird how that, that one does get anti-glare, though. Do you know what I mean, Martha? And how the other ones don't. That just feels weird, eh? More water. Mm. How's the Breath of the Wild going? We've been playing some... Oh, what is it? You know Twilight Princess? Been playing a wee bit of Twilight Princess in here, we have been. Which has been awesome. Well, I don't know, it's been okay, I guess, but... It's been okay. It is. It makes you feel like you're missing out if you don't, uh... If you don't get it, you know? That's what I was saying. Junkie's thinking about getting one as well, Martha. But Junkie, what are you thinking about that now? Cooked meals. See a dietitian, that's how I would honestly say. I, I, I don't believe that people who are fat can get better un, unless they've went too far. You know what I mean? Where there's no recovery. So if you can stop yourself now or at least help, I think you should do. With all the GRPGs now on Steam. Yeah, true. That's what I mean, yeah. You want the Basaria saga, Martha, don't you? Steam Deck, good graphics. It's a mini PC. Yeah. No, all games work on it yet, but every game will be. You know what? Absolutely, every game will be. And even then, ones that are labelled as no playable actually are. So, like... It's a pretty good thing to get if you, if you, you know... Like, Martha was no wanting to get it because she, it didn't have one of her favourite games on it. But I think it would be well better for you now, Martha, because you've actually got, like, a Steam library as well. And you like your laptop and all that, you know what I mean? And you're going to have Harry Potter coming out and all that shit. It's like, seems good to me, but... Family Tragedy, Mother and Son, and Acid Bath Shocker. Well, this is the Acid Guy. 23rd of November, 1963. Crawley, West Sussex. Two decomposed corpses were found in a house in Russell Street on Tuesday. The victims were Dorothy Rand, 65, and her toy maker son, Albert Rand, 34. They were found in a drum filled with acid in the garage adjoining their houses. The suspect is believed to have escaped with a sum of money after the grisly crime. Albert Rand lived together with his mother, a widow who was certified blind and required assistance in everyday tasks. Mr Rand's eyes had been gouged out prior to his murder and police profilers are on the trail of the man who committed a monstrous crime. Police are seeking the whereabouts of a young man who had been staying 
with the Rands a few days before the murder, claiming to be a distant relative of Mrs. Rand. He arrives suddenly in the area and has disappeared. Yes. This game's no scary, though. It's no scary, it's more funny and light-hearted, but, like I'm saying, I think what is actually scary about it is that these are actually based on real murderers, I'm pretty sure, from, like, back in the day. So they make it all more light-hearted and funny in the game, but, like, at the end of the day, it's based on real shit. I think. Hmm. At least this guy is. The old Steam games that are on PC work on it. Yes, near enough all of them. I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of it. You can run Windows on it and get Game Pass? Can you? Yeah, but does that not require some fiddling, no Toga? Like, it will only be like that out the box. It's like a wee Steam machine, is it not? Yeah, I think it would be fine, Martha. But, like, I, th I think as well, like, more ones will be getting supported anyway, you know? What about your laptop, though? You know, playing it as much. Ray Trace in there. EA Origin. Teddy Bear. Should not have bought the laptop. Really? You actually feel like that? Hmm. You really don't like it at all. I thought you were digging it. No. Nah. Still cool though. It's still probably like the better way to play like some of your games if you were gonna though, but you do prefer the portability, you know. Plus you could bring that into work, eh, you know. Get Game Pass. Yeah, get you should get Game Pass uh Crash. Yeah, your laptop's OP. Yeah, got a really OP laptop, Martha. The inside of the car is scorched and blackened. The crushed box is in the boot. Was it a present being delivered? Game at night. Yeah. You can even, like, run emulators on, like, the Steam Deck, which is pretty cool if you wanted to do all that. You know, you could run Fire Emblems, older ones, and all that shit. But I remember when you did talk about getting a laptop, and I was kind of like... And I remember you were saying you can't play Basaria on it, but like you based getting that laptop all around Basaria, didn't you? And I was kind of like thinking you'd probably still like the Steam Deck. What are you doing here? 
I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean, yeah. A lot of people are scared of the computer stuff, you know what I mean? It's like the number one reason that people don't try PC gaming. Say something. It's really no hard to figure it out, but if you've never, like, had any real computer experience or cared to learn little basics, it can still be hard. You know, you like, you forget how people don't know the ins and outs of the C drive and all that, eh? But, like, you don't need to know the ins and outs. Like, PC gaming is pretty streamlined these days to help people. But, no, a lot of people are into it. I don't know how the Steam Deck works, though. It's just kind of like a portable thing, though. You don't have to do much, do you? Pixel's got one. Pixel, if you're still there. You don't have to do anything on the Steam Deck, do you? It's like, uh... Is it just like the Steam menu or something? It's not like a Windows menu or anything. Is that you? She got magic powers? Albert's Diary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's true. You do need to know your way around safe sites and that, I guess, or at least have a good antivirus and all that stuff to, like, block it. You need, you need to be a wee bit aware about downloading. Yeah, YouTube can help because people like put links in their channels and um, but yeah, something like a GBA emulator and that is always like really, really easy. But when it comes to like the other ones are a wee bit more difficult. Because like they were like running Yuzu on the Steam Deck actually. Which is the Switch emulator. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of a good optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since mum lost her sight and though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. Yesterday, a relative of ours named John Hay came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but I can't help but think there's something calculated about him. I said as much to Mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the past three days or so. I hear that a team of burglars have been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock the doors and windows at night. You almost done with your three houses run yet, Martha? Or I think we'll be starting our one after God of War. It looks like a toolbox. Yes. 
The V's holds a moon flower. Kitchen key. Half heart pendant. The ghosts in this game are just like hilarious. I don't think they're most supposed to be scary, but yeah, Duck Station. I've heard about that. I I'm so used to playing on a normal PS One now that I don't think I'll ever emulate PS One again. News reporter's memo. Found very important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. It will sh it will be the biggest scoop in the Fleet Street. Newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages in a notepad. Serial killer Hay meets Grizzly End. 11th of May 1962, West Sussex. John Hay, the serial killer... On the run since early last year has been found dead at a metal plating works. He is held responsible for the cold-blooded murder of several pensioners whom he robbed before placing the bodies in a container of sulfuric acid, thus, dis thus disposing of the evidence. The acid used in the crimes was stolen, leading the police to place factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under their surveillance. The suspect appeared at a factory in Horsham and a struggle ensued. He lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, ironically meeting the same end as his victims. Yeah. Film has been ripped out of the camera. If I had some film, maybe I could put it, could purge the spirits. Oh. What are you up to, Toga? Are you playing anything else in there, man? Right, I've got invisibility band. Hmm. Okay, what else have I got here again? Got this teddy bear. Ah, oh, you still sticking with the God of War mode then? Yo, Martha, did you happen to play any more God of War or... Everybody's on a God of War fixer now, I'll tell you. I'm still tempted to play it. I just pre-ordered God of War Ragnarok today. And it was expensive, though. Yeah, so at least that's pre-ordered now. 
Um, man, that game's so expensive, like, holy shit. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing a wee run before, like, Ragnarok's out, because I'm really excited for that game. That's, like, the game I'm looking forward to right now. Um, especially before... Because like, I don't think December is going to have too much now that, that one of my games got can uh, cancelled or delayed a wee bit, but... Oh, and by the way... I don't know if you've seen this, Martha, but they... advertised a special controller that's like $250 for PS5s now as well. Special controllers. Like, pro controllers? Pretty expensive. Hmm, still cannot open that. I need film. What, are you, are you enjoying God of War mode a wee bit more now, Toga? I don't know if I've heard that, um... I think I've heard a little bit that, like, the next one's a wee bit easier. On its hardest mode, which is a wee bit disappointing, but... Yeah, yeah, the shield parry or whatever. Where's the film again? Film's been ripped out of the camera. If I had film, I could use it. Well, I need to find it then. I guess we'll go backwards, because... Mm, I was thinking if I replay it, though, would I play the PC version or play the PS5 one? Because, like, I've already... I already have it on PS5, but I do have it on PC as well. Alright, there we go. Lacking in the attack with a shield, yeah. Yo, know, God of War was so good. Matt? <sighs> Are you almost done with three houses, Martha? Or still got a bit to go. Always seems to me like you're starting a new playthrough every week, then it. There was no Fire Emblem Engage stuff today, which was a bummer. I know, it seems to me like you're never starting a new... Like you're always starting a new playthrough. <laughs> like, what? where do you get to before you start again? I'll be doing a brand new playthrough for Golden Deers, so... though. Probably November, like, after God of War. Because I think December is going to be free. So... I think we'll go with this... Go, like, the end of November, like, into December. Leading up to Engage's release, you know. 
Because I kind of want it to last a wee bit longer. Toga got three houses. Got it on sale, did you know? <sighs> Is it because you're trying to get the early game supports or something? Saw the desk. Is it this one? No. So the desk. Got a desk key. I'm like, opens the desk in grandfather's room. Oh, I need to go back to the start, actually. Okay, fine. I got that other... What is that? I just got Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, which is a strategy game. It's the, it's a new strategy game that they made with Mario. But I played it for like 10 minutes yesterday and I got a bit bored, you know, it's Especially when coming from like a Fire Emblem game where the story is like pretty deep in that, like going to a Mario game where the story is just like Mario things, do you know what I mean? It's a bit, it's a bit whack. Especially even XCOM has like a good story that keeps you engaged in that, you know, like you're fighting aliens and they're taking over the world. It's got, it's got that going for it as well. But like Mario Rabbids, <laughs> it's just like Mario making Mario noises and the story's a bit lacking there, you know? So I don't know, maybe I'll try some this weekend again, but... At least we'll maybe try some. the room I'm supposed to be in again? Hmm. Just making sure to check this. I think this is wrong. I don't even know the layout of this house, actually. So, like, where's our grandfather's room again? Was it on the bottom floor? Maybe. One here. Now that one's locked. It's actually quite hard to figure out the rooms in this. Like, Capcom do a good job of, like... I don't know where I am. You end up searching everywhere.
Oh, wait, I think this is correct. There we go. An order from the camera shop. Somebody bought lots of film. Right. Oh, there we go. The Book of Entities 2. In order to defeat a subordinate, the murdered soul which acts as its energy source must be a, must be healed to investigate a healing process. To investigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. If and when this item has been found, the ruder power is boosted temporarily. The ruder portal square appears and within is found a sacred weapon unnecessary to vanquish the subordinate. Alright. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, God of War 3 is different. I mean... Right, I don't know, man. It's like, I've not talked about the God of War, the God of War series in a minute. You know what I mean? I find, like, 1 and 2, like, really good games. But they're, they're actual straight up old school hack and slash games. You know what I mean? Like legit. Um, great stories. It's old school Kratos though. You know what I mean? Angry motherfucker Kratos. Pissed off Kratos. Completely different character. The reason he's so different in God of War is he's been through all that bullshit. You know what I mean? God of War 3... Back, I remember I got it back in the PS3 days. I remember I found it. It's more it's more God of War, which is never a bad thing. But it's the weakest of the three, if I had to go out. that The only thing that re it really had going for it was graphics. But it's a continuation. It's the original trilogy. If you want to see the whole story, it's like playing three is never a bad thing. But I genuinely think it's a completely different type of hack and slash. It's, it's literally like old school hack and slash. It's more old school rather than God of War, which changed it up, you know, so dramatically. It does, like, those ones didn't play the same. But they, I like hack and slash. I, I like the old ones. The old ones are classics, but... I don't know, there's something about... It, the third one's the worst of the three. Um, if I had to say... Yeah. But, like, I think you could get away with just watching it on YouTube. If you wanted to see the story. You know what I mean? You know, the the odd one out is God of War Ascension. That that one's a PlayStation 3 exclusive. Still, I remember it was shit. Like, I don't know what happened. I, 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 I can't even really remember it off the top of my head, but I had, I've got it on PS3. I remember being excited for it, played it, and I was like, dude, this is no even as good as God of War 3. That's why the series took such a long break after that came back with the reimagined like God of War, you know. But like Ascension was like a prequel to the first game. And like when you when you start going there, it's like, okay, you know, we're losing a bit of momentum here. So like the third one was the start of losing momentum, went right into Ascension, which lost all momentum. And then, you know, but I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I'm not a big God of War guy. Like, huge. But, like, I don't know how fans feel about Ascension. Maybe it'll be some... Because that never got a PS3 remaster. It's almost like they ignore it. The, the PS4 remaster, uh, almost like they ignore it. I picked up the third game remastered, actually, for a really cheap price. But I've no like, played it on PS4. I've only ever played God of War 3 on PS3. And I still think it's good, but it's, like, very different. You know? Um... That would be an interesting one to play before Ascension, I mean, before Ragnarok comes out, because whenever I go back and play God of War games, it's, I didn't really think about playing the old ones, you know? I don't know, have you, have you seen the story of the old ones, or 
at all. Because, like, the stories of them are fantastic, though. Like, ancient Greece and that, it's, it's very good. I don't know if you've seen them, Martha, but... There's also the ones on PSP. Now, those are, like, the like, fucking hard to pl find, those ones. Because they, they got PS3 remasters, but, like, people sell them for an arm and a leg, you know? Like, like really. Um, so those are really expensive. Like, the Ghost of Sparta games, like, the PSP ones. Mm. Playing the OG stuff. So, I mean, the OG's good, man. Like, the OG's, like, good shit. And 2's really good, too, and... Christ, God of War, I remember playing that originally back on the PS2 back in the day. It's like crazy good, good shit, man. Some people still say the PS2 version's the best and that the remaster ruins stuff, but I've never even played the remaster of the original game. But, man, that Ascension one, I'm curious about it again. Like, I think if it's cheap enough that you're like, oh, just to have it in your collection, pick it up, you know? Because that's what I did. But I already have God of War 3 on PS3, so, like, getting a PS4 one was just, like, it's an up-to-date remaster, you know? Like, it's the Ascension one. It's like, why did they never... It's like they're trying to ignore Ascension. Ascension would be an interesting one to play before Ragnarok comes out. I've, like, never... I remember I only even beat like half the game back in the day because I found it that boring, you know, it was just... But it could be worth checking out again, that Ascension one. It's PS3 exclusive, though. The Ruder who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of Ruder stock. Of this lineage, I am proud. The Ruder blood... Oh, the OG's a classic. My wife, Francesca, was a Ruder. Very much so. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just... I wonder if I'd be able to beat them under hardest modes. I've never then attempted. I book of entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. It'll be harder. I finally opened my eyes It'll be hard. to the truth and began my research into the subject. Man, you think they would have maybe remastered Ascension? I don't, I don't care for prequels. Most of the time. And peak at age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the ruder cause before marrying in their 20s in order to produce the next generation of Ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her Ruder powers are dwindling rapidly, and it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our Ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. Another ruder has been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. I chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruler. A ruder family. So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. A lot of people are in the under the end. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then and only then will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. The consensus for God of War Ascension is that it's the weakest of the franchise, and I would actually say that that's that is actually the perfect way to describe Ascension. So there's like, you know, it's probably why they never even remastered it. I don't know though. Like the third one's better, but 
I still think the first two in that are better. But, hey man, if it's cheap, like, you know. Repellent arrow, you don't want to use them. Keep them for the final boss, from what I remember. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, it seems to me like most people have only played the rebooted franchise of God of War. You know what I mean? Which is totally understandable. But like, the old ones are good shit. The story is so sick. It's actually when he's in Greece. Um. You know, I was I was watching one of the trailers the other day for this new one, and they were like, "Oh, we were going to make the the Norse mythology or something like we we're going to make it three games, but we decided against it and made it two. So like apparently like the whole thing's like ending in two games when it kind of makes you wonder like would three games have been maybe like they're rushing it out in two like hmm. you know what I mean. I hope they're not like rushing anything out, you know. Yeah, I hope they're not rushing anything out. Oh, what do you think about getting Persona 5 on PC? Maybe you could get that on PC, Martha, with your Steam Deck as well. I don't know. That that just came out the day. Like people are, it's really expensive though. But what do you think about that, Toga? I don't know what you've got, Karoi. Like, what do you have for gaming devices? Actually, if you're creeping. Like, I, you surprise me bringing, bringing out the old OG box and all that, you know. But it seems to me like your up-to-date consoles are Switch, maybe, and just PC. Hmm. I can't believe, like, they... I, I'm, I'm upset, like, at the fact that just because, like, a five-year-old game is on a new machine, they have the right to charge full price for it. Call me old-fashioned. But, like, I just find it, like, what? <laughs> Persona 5 is five years old, and I, that's what cracks me up. I'm not saying it's not a good game. I enjoyed it. But, like... You, do, you, do you get what I'm coming? Like, see all these timed exclusives? How they keep the games relevant is like being able to resell the games at full price and somehow everyone's okay with it. You know? So it got sold at full price with its base game. It got sold with Royale, full price, and twice on the PS4 at full price. Now it's out on the Switch, full price. Now it's out on PC, Full price and Xbox full price. Like how's that okay? It's 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 the Square Enix mentality as well. That I've never seen so much of a Robin game than Final Fantasy VII remake so far. People like it, whatever. It's like good game for people, whatever. But it doesn't get around like the scummy business practice. Where the original came out on PS4 and it's full price. And then they get to sell it again at full price on PS5. But it's a free upgrade to, to people who have PS4, thank God. But they, they kind of con them a wee bit by making a DLC, so you want to buy that anyway. So, like, you know. And then it gets put on the Epic Game Store launcher at full price for a year. Then gets put on Steam at full price. Two times I've sold it on PC at full price. Only then to still no be on Xbox, but when it is, it will also be full price. For one part of a three part game. <laughs> What's going on? Like, how's this okay? 
You know? Like, I have no idea. But it's smart. And it just, it bothers me that everybody's just bending over and accepting it. Oh, as long as it's on the Switch, I'll pay full price or whatever. And it's like, Christ. Just buy it on PS4 for like 10 bucks. Because, you know, you can't tell me that someone who was desperate to play Persona 5 has waited five years just to play it on a Switch. I, I just don't believe it. Some PC gamers are like that, don't get me wrong. Some PC gamers don't want to indulge in anything other than PC. Part of me still doesn't understand that. You know? Like, if you're a lover of games, I feel like you kind of at least have something other than PC. You know? But there's some people that genuinely don't, which is, like, surprising to me. I don't know. I'm not in their shoes. But, like... Yeah, just switch. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. So, like, a lot of people have, like, a PC and a Switch, or a PS4 and a Switch, or something like that. It's always a combination with and Switch, you know? But, it, like, when people, like, limit themselves to one thing, it's kind of like, hmm. But that's what I mean, like, just, like... The port begging that goes on for Switch as well is kind of nuts. And, like, Square Enix really get me going the wrong way, I'll tell you that. You know, the, the, the Kingdom Hearts HD remixes came out on PS3, full price. PS4, full price. Xbox, full price. Epic, and the thing about it is that collection is so old now. Like, I got it on PS4, which has a PS5 upgrade. I got it for, like, 10 bucks or something. And they charge, like, 59 99 over here, 69 99 in America, for the Epic Game Store version on PC. How is this okay? I just don't know. I just don't know how it's okay, you know? Like... Some serious rip-offs going on, you know, these days. Don't get me wrong, I want to have it on PC, but I would never pay that price for something so old. You know? No when you can also get it for that price on... Or whatever. You know, it's... It's like... The PC gaming as well is getting really expensive with the exclusive launchers with Epic Game Store and all that. <clears throat> It's all done on purpose, I guess. I mean, it's smart, though, but what gets me is that gamers are okay with it. I think that's what gets me the most. Is that gamers are okay with being ripped off. Everyone that desperate for, for, for Persona 5. They'll triple dip, you know, or whatever. Hmm. This must be a photograph from the crime scene. You can't really see the suspect in it. I wonder if the person who took the photograph ended up as a victim as well. It's a photograph of an open door with a hidden switch. Oh. Is that one of the doors in the house? Yes. Still, though, like, some games that are, like, Nintendo exclusive, I would pay for a PC port on. Like, like perfect PC port or whatever, like, like, three houses on PC. Now, I'm not talking emulation. Let's just get rid of that, okay? Like, sure, you could go and emulate some buggy version for whatever, for free or whatever, however you like it. Official like, Nintendo ports or whatever, like, on PC would be, like, lovely. But, 
That's about it. Like, I'd pay again for three houses on PC. 4K60. Like, you know. That would be so sick. Or Xenoblade. Yeah, Nintendo's expensive because they never, like, reduce their prices. I feel like PC's getting more and more expensive as it goes on, though, because, like, Steam charges, like, $59.99 for a new release. Unless you're literally going and getting a CD key, which is a grey area. But, you know... The grey area is what PC games should be priced at. Um, it's filthy. Toilet hype, though. Really? Let's just say three houses came out with a PC port, you wouldn't get that? Like, at all? Wouldn't he care about, like, better resolution and frame rate? For, like, for a Fire Emblem game? No, even? Like, I just... It's not like I'm some graphics or frame rate whore, but the downside about Nintendo is, um... Is, uh... You know, the performance and all that is pretty guff, you know. Yeah, I understand the sales for sure. You know, absolutely. Like, Steam sales are awesome. I guess I'm talking about day one. If you want to get something that's a brand new release, you are going to pay even a ridiculous amount on Steam. You know. It's not like it bothers me too much, but like, see when I play like one of my, so some of my more favourite games lately are on Switch. Like, Three Houses and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I just like, wish, like it would, it would be so sick if the games were like 60 FPS or like really good res resolution without any dripping into like 20 frames per second depths and that, but you just put up with it. You know what I mean? But like, it's not like it bothers me, but you can't help but be like, well, that would be really nice to play it looking that nice or feeling that better. But I, I feel like the compromise for Switch is because it's such a toaster that we do get art styles in games. Because too many games these days are obsessed with being real looking. So they all look the fucking same. So, like, art styles are almost non-existent in a lot of AAA titles because they're just concerned with realistic facial expressions or whatever the fuck, you know? So, like, a game like Three Houses or Xenoblade, they all have art styles because they're tailored around the toaster that is the Switch. But I can't help but be like, dude, I would love to play that game looking and feeling fantastic better than what it does on a Switch. You know, like, that is... I always feel like that, especially if I'm loving it, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, so I'll be getting, like, Resident Evil 4 Day 1 or something. I guess that's my next Steam game. Um, no, Callisto Protocol. But yeah, I can't help but feel like It's like, bummer, you know? But, you, you know, you do put up with it for Switch. And, like, when I'm loving a good game, it doesn't bother me, but... When it's all said and done, like, playing Three Houses, like, looking and amazing and, and feeling, like, 60 and that again would be so nice, but... But, you know...
What can you do? Oh, this part's horrible. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not on her last legs yet. You just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids at Gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. Albert. What's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it, warm enough? It's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's <laughs> <laughs> enough play, happy family. You make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Devil brutal. <laughs> Based on a real dude, though. Wait, can I grab someone in there? Yeah, that's hilarious. You go back in, he's gone. Yeah, Streets of Rage 4, and to be fair, that one doesn't sting because it's an indie game, you know? It's, it's no sting in my ass anyway. But... Toolbox key. Yeah, those ones there sting too bad. But to be fair, like when that game came out, even though it's good in that, it's definitely short, you know? It's a short ass game. You really gotta replay that shit a lot. I never even tried Mania on that game, you know? Because, like, uh, I don't know, I just played, I did spam it though for a few times, played every character, but never got round to playing Mania. And I never even tried the DLC, so. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get round to it, to be honest. I can't even remember who I liked the most out of it. I think I liked um, Blaze the most, actually. Yeah, it's like half the price, so it never really stings too bad. But for people who like beat em ups and that, it's definitely worth, you know. Is that the shawl? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit. Ah! 
Well, I didn't want to lose the thing. So I thought I'd let him kill me there, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, Streets of Rage 2 is the goat, though. I've only ever beat that on hardest actually it was I put it up on YouTube. I never um got round to trying Mania. I'd like to try it one day. That game's hard on Mania. I'm like, whoa. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Toilet hype. So I need a tool. Still not got anything for it. Oh, I have the toolbox key. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So I need to find a toolbox, and I don't know- oh, Fucking hell, dude! It's the bullshit here! Oh really, I thought I could maybe- Shit! Man, you know when you're in panic, I think Pixel was saying earlier, it's actually like guaranteed death. Near enough, unless you want to use the water, which I don't want to use. This game has a severe hoarding problem, you know that? Just realised that. It's got a severe hold hoarding problem. Hmm. Because like, I've, I've got lavenders. It's not like I've not got them, but I don't want to use them. Hmm. No. Yeah. That's bullshit. He, that's a choreographed... That's a choreographed... One him popping up there, you know? Wait, I'm stuck in here. That is cheap, yo! I've done this! Hmm. Yeah, Streets of Rage 2 Mania is like fucked up, eh? Plus, I think they patched a lot of the game because it's a wee bit easier than it was on release for Street Fighter 4. Uh, sorry, Streets of Rage 4. But like, I was playing like Blaze, yeah. Oh, is Streets of Rage 1 and 2 is good? Like, the fourth one's pretty good, Toga. If you ever get it cheap, you know. Everyone's fave, yeah. Well, I liked her because she could do some pretty cool combos. I played a lot of that game online with multiplayer. Did you try that? It was broken, but it was fun. You know? It's no guaranteed. Yeah, I just don't want to, like, you know... Thinking I should go the other way, or... Like, he pops out this corner and actually takes a chunk out of us. Look at that. Look at that. See, you missed it! Oh, come on. I don't want her... I don't want him to... Hmm. 
Hey, that's quite a cheap one though. He pops out of that corner and basically takes all my life. I put the fucking water on him and he just ignored it. Game's got a bit of janky and vulnerability frames. It's a Capcom game, you know, there's iframes everywhere, but I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that, you hear me? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh wait, I didn't I actually dodged it. Alright. What is going on? He's just like walk he's like ignoring it. Fuck him. Piece of shit. How's that fair, you know? Okay, I've got that now. I've got the the wrench. You coming in here? There he is. Axel was shit, yeah. There she is. <laughs> At the start, he was pretty bad, which sucked, you know. Do, 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 do. It's nasty the way the sulfuric acid shit, man. Dude, man, have you heard about that bullshit? Um, or am I like tripping? I seem to remember like, man, there's like people that done that to people just like randomly on the fucking street once or some shit. Seen it in the news, bloody horrible. She is. <laughs> oh, now that guy cheated there, didn't he? Let's be real. Man, this guy's coming down to start some shit. We, we, we do need a Golden Axe remaster too, that would be the sickest. <laughs> wow, the game just didn't give a shit there. Man! And those like what? Oh, dude. <laughs> get in there, get in. Can we no hide in there? Really? Cannot hide in there. <laughs> Calling bullshit. Okay, here's someone. All right. We'll take that. Do 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 do. Got lavender water. We'll take the lavender water. We'll have a read of this. The daughter's letter. We can't read that one. Oh no. Oh no, you need to use that. Okay, fine. Save it.
Yeah, yeah, like Streets of Rage 4 is definitely worth when it's on sale though, Toga, if you ever... You know, I enjoyed the multiplayer as well for quite a bit. It's defo, uh, it was quite a fun multiplayer, but it was so broken, you know, they kind of kind of balance that. They tried to make it like a fighting game. Felt impossible in a way, but... Hmm. That ghost's here. Hmm. No water here. Is that the only way to go? That one door. Really? Oh no. Dude, you know, this guy's actually like, kind of grabs you. There must be another way to go here. Gives us the butt splash, you know? I feel like we can go up here, maybe. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, where'd you go, Slane? No. Just what I thought. See, that, that, do, you, do you know what I mean, no pixel? What do you think about this game having a bit of a hoarding problem? I think that's the only bad thing I can really say about it, you know? Like, it, it does, like... Like, I've got all this shit in here. I should be using the lavenders, but the game's just like... Eh, you know, it's such a, like, straightforward thing where you didn't want to use it. You, you know what I'm saying? You know these special arrows as well? I know for a fact you better save a name for the end boss, so that is a guaranteed horde. I wonder if they'll fix a bit of the hoarding problem in Breath of the Wild. You know when you're saving all your good shit and use all your shitter shit before the good shit? In Breath of the Wild, you know, like... Wait, is that him? Probably. Yeah. I found you. Mm -mm. Oh. Now hold up, like what the fucking dead end? Legit. <laughs> Oh, okay. So where did that go then? Hmm. Gonna have to go get some water though. Uh, I'm a bit concerned, confused about like. What, did we just do that to get an arrow? I think so. Like, those ones are better getting used than the last boss. Hmm. Oh, there. I got it. Okay. Okay, I got the shawl. 
totally missed that. <laughs> oh, wait, is this the boss now? Yeah, this could be the... Okay, nice, 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 nice. And a boring arrow. Legolas this fool. Mm-hmm. What a, what a weird thing this game has, but I dig it, man. Like, how can I dig the stupidity? Because that's what it's all about. That's how Capcom games used to be. They take themselves too serious. I do miss that. Corroder. Victims 31. Sentenced to 605 years. Whoa. Yes. Oh, right on, right on. Nice camera. There she is. Oh, prepare to die. Oh, there she is. Oh, he moved, he moved. There she is. Prepare to die. Damn it, it keeps getting me. There she is. There she is. Oh, prepare to die. There she is. That guy was easier than the last guy. He had too much recovery. I think. Yeah, they, they tried to like redo Golden Axe on... Man, what was it? Xbox 360, but it was like a completely different style. So like, I don't know, it wasn't a side scroller, but... So there's a good chance it was doomed, you know? Nice. Sick. I quite like the boss fights, man. There's also a guy golden axe fighting game. Uh, on Sega Saturn. There's also a golden axe RPG. Christ, they made quite a lot of golden axe stuff back in the day. 
golden axe on the game gear. It's called Axe Battler. It was actually the main character of Golden Axe. Like the dude, you know, in, in the trunks. Yeah, Axe Battler is the Game Gear RPG. It's bloody solid. I had it. I had it back in the day and it was like impossible. You know, it's just one of those impossible games. so long for you. Remember this? It's the winter shawl you knitted for me. <gasps> Mother, I can see. I can see too. It did feel like a top-down Zelda game, but like when you entered battle, it was a different thing. It was like a Final Fantasy. Thank you. Alice. But no quiet. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Quite a feat destroying two subordinates. The ruder strain appears especially strong within you, Alyssa. Yeah, that's the 360 one. That's, yeah, that's the latest thing they made, yeah. That kind of flopped, I think. The bummer. It would be nice to have a copy of that. You know, there's also a game in the 360 PS3 era that I want to play um, that I've never, ever been able to play because copies are expensive. Splatterhouse. Do you remember that Genesis Mega Drive game? Well, they had Splatterhouse 1, 2, and 3, which is a kind of a side-scrolling horror type beat-em-up, like Streets of Rage, um, but like, no quite, it's a bit quite harder, like, holy shit. Man, that shit used to scare me as a kid. Um, well, like, Splatterhouse had a reimagining for the PS3 and 360, but like, good luck getting a copy, because like, they really charge a decent amount, and it's like a... Um, it's like a hack and slash game they made it into. It's not too expensive, but it's quite a bit of money for such a game that flopped, you know. I feel like it'll... Damn these tunes, though. I bet you like Splatterhouse, I mean, uh, Clock Tower veterans were like rolling in their graves with, with this game or whatever the fuck, you know? <laughs> Alicia, this is no longer your home. This is the dark realm where I rule. In two hours, the clock will strike midnight and your 15th birthday will arrive. When that happens, She's 14? you and I will become one, and together we will obtain eternal life. Hold on. Hi. My 15th birthday? Are you 
looking forward to it. So am I, my dear. So am I. I can't wait. Soon we two will be united forever. <laughs> Alyssa, you might have defeated two of our number, but your mother was killed by a subordinate long ago. No! You're lying! She can't! If you don't believe me, <laughs> you to hell and see for <laughs> This game's sick. It's funny. What do you think of this game so far? As some people who have never seen it. It's like... It's supposed to be survival horror. It kind of is, but like, it just doesn't take itself serious. But like, this, it's got serious tones, you know, with the killers. But like, I don't know, something's so goofy about it and that. That I like... It's like the best Clock Tower game I've played. Because I remember when I played the first one, I was, you get frustrated in that, you know, it's like, oh Christ, what do you do, like, click on this wee thing over there that you could barely fucking see, some bloody point and click adventures, you know how they go, and then like, the first one on PS1 is also just kind of like, what, you know, <laughs> and the second one is so renowned for being like buggy and I've never played it, but I've not heard good things about it. But this one, when Capcom got the IP, they just went in a completely different direction. But I'm surprised they had the balls to call it Clock Tower 3. Because it's got absolutely nothing to do with the first three games. Like, at all. You know? So it's just a completely new take. They should have just... I don't know. It's, if you were a Clock Tower fan maybe back in the day and you, like, loved the games for... You'd probably be like, what is this shit? You know? And I could see it. But like, I'm, I'll, the fact that it's so goofy, it's like, and it's fun to play. It's, it's like the best one out of the lot I've played if you've went back and played them, <laughs> you know? It's, I, I like the boss fights and that, you know? Oh, you, sh you definitely should play it yourself, comrade. It's definitely, like, good game to play. It's like, there's no really a bad part of the game, I don't think. It's like, you know. Yeah, it's definitely, like, comical. I think there's shit in the water here, though. I think that's what's, like, so decent about it. But, like I'm saying, though. Like, the, the serious tomes with like the killing of the 12 year old and all that and you know the fucking burning people's eyes and all that shit with sulfuric acid and you know it's like nasty shit you know so there's some serious shit in it like like I say I'm not entirely sure if all the killers are based on real people but I know for a fact the sulfuric acid guy is he's based on a real dude Worker's key. Now, I do remember this area maybe being a bit triggering. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? It's quite a short game, too, though. If you know exactly what to do, I'll... No bet. We've like done two of the dudes. Oh shit, what does this guy look like again? He's actually quite hard. Oh yeah, yeah, man. You might have defeated the others, but you're no match for Look at this guy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh shit. Yeah. I think what makes this one frustrating is because like the areas are hard to remember how to get around and this guy appears all the time. I feel like I remember that being a thing with this one. Like it's no easy to know your way around this one. locked. No, it's no. And he can, like, appear in this little fucking area. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is, like, tough going. Yeah, it's like a fucking circle. Oh, no! Hmm. Yeah, you turn it round and all that. Now let me go in and have a look. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it can be hard to remember your way around this one. You, you can see the problem. At least the music is better than the last one. Oh, I remember these. Main electric cable has been cut. It's way too risky to touch them with the bare hands. Okay. And this guy is like a bastard, do you know what I mean? Like, he's like, yeah, he can kill you. It ain't easy to get away from him. Simple inside the box. Hmm. Oh, now hold the phone here. Distribution plan, A1 to B3, A2 to B1, A3 to B2. Okay. to be one. Maybe I should have went to B2. Don't know, we'll check out B1. This guy appears everywhere, man. Like, what? You know? Remember, that's what triggered me. Okay, we'll take- maybe we should use that shit, man. Cause I remember, like, getting to the end of this game and never using shit! It's like an invisibility band. Oh shit! Motherfucker, man, is that- What?! You can't get away! I'm gonna use a band. Check it out, you know? Aha! Nice trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit, that didn't do much, did it? Catch. Well, we'll take them. Okay, we've got the rubber gloveys. Now we could probably go back down and do the thing. Oh, this is defo a keypad door or something, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, nice trick. <laughs> you can't get away. Oh. Okay, back in we go. I think back to B3 so we can do the... Do the thing. Yo, I need to play some Metal Gear soon, you know? Like, it's been a minute, man. Like, the last time we played MGS1 and 2 and that, it was a good time. I never got round to playing 3 again, though. MGSs are always nice games to play. Well, I mean, I usually play like... See, that's what I mean. I never play 4 and all that shit. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> <laughs> Never play 4, like ever. It's been 7 years according to my PS3 since I played MGS4. Should it just, should I never play that game again or? Hmm. I think I'd have to replay MGS1 and 2 and then maybe do a wee quick run of 3. Oh, nice <laughs> in order to ex like appreciate 4 maybe, cause like... Appreciating 4 in its own is kinda like eh. I mean I think it's the weakest MGS game. That he that he done, but I mean, like obviously, I think five's the worst one, but you know what I mean. Revengeance, I don't mind it. Like I'm not a hater. That game's got like a revival going on over the past like year because like people love the memes, right? It, it did get a revival, and I never really went back and played it or anything, but I, I'm a, I'm a fan of hack and slash. So it really, I'm not like a hater of Vengeance. The, the hardcore MGS fan base hate it though. Whoa. It's like, they like cannot stand it, you know. They hate that people like it. <laughs> yeah, they really do though. Okay, now hold up. Up left to wait a minute. I'm gonna have to look at the thing. A one to B three and then A two to B one. One to three and two to one. One to three and two to one. One to three and two to one. One, two, three, and two to one. Into the middle. All right. Wait, was that back on the other floor? Check it out. Yeah, it was. <laughs> right, I. Uh, you know, that's definitely like something I've never like be. I've never been someone who like delves into the games deeply. Like, I don't know if you watched Out or Heaven Boys. But like they, they like take the mech out of the AI all the time, you know what I mean? But I've, I've never really found myself doing, you know, like that kind of uh, stuff. Man, I've, I've only ever played five the first time it came out too. Hmm. Right, so that's working then. Okay. 
Yeah, I, don't, I would imagine four is the shittest one to watch, though. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I still need a card key. I don't think he can come in here, though. Nah. I love Revengeance. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. I, the only time I ever played through it fully was on the 360. Was on the, the 360 era, you know? Oh, wait, do I have it on the PS3 or 360? Possibly PS3. Yeah, what's happened to the Outer Heaven, boys? Like, something happened a wee while ago. I'm not entirely sure what, but the Outer Haven channel is like now, can, now DRKs, apparently. Um, and like Free Dog kind of like does his own thing now. I don't know about UK Nightmare, but, you know, it's mostly DRK's channel, the Outer Haven. So like they've kind of went down. They're kind of, they've tried to split their channels is what's happened. You know what I mean? And I guess Three Dog is getting some real... He's getting some real... He's getting some real success out of it. You know, everybody's watching him. He plays like horror games like Silent Hill and he still does MGS. But the Haven Channel's kind of been like... The Haven Channel's kind of been like a wee bit left in the dirt. And it's because I think DRK had to go back somewhere. He had to go back home, so he couldn't stream for a long time. So that obviously it can put a channel down a wee bit, eh, if you have to stop streaming for so long. So, like, I think that's affected it a wee bit. And I know he was playing The Witcher a wee while ago, The Witcher 3. But because the Outer Haven channel was always centred around purely Metal Gear, and that's what it advertises, it's harder for DRK to call that channel his own. You know what I mean? There's a bit of an issue there, I think. Hmm... So he's kind of stuck playing MGS if he does. Yeah. What surprises me is how many people watch it. You know, sometimes they used to have thousands of people in there watching MGS2 every day. And, you know, like... Like more people watch them than play them now, for sure. Because, like, they know what they're doing. But, yeah. Three dogs. Yeah, I see him on Siren, actually. Yeah, so he is. Yeah, he's doing pretty well for himself. Um, like 300 dudes and all that in there. Man, I couldn't imagine managing that many people, you know. It'd be so crazy. Martha would hold them back at the gates. And Bob, maybe. And Junkie wants his old job back. Ah, we don't really need too many mods in here. It's never really ever needed mods, you know. Can watch MGS forever, yeah. Oh, I don't even know the. I defo didn't have them memorized. I'm like trash at them. I like I done my first hard mode runs like last year or something. The first time we played MGS one and two on hard mode, I'd never played it on hard mode or anything above normal. I really like the radars in the game, so it always sucks to like um turn them off because i feel like they're such a fundamental part of like metal gear that so like playing on a harder difficulty which i wouldn't mind but like getting rid of the radar just seems so it just sucks for me you know but you know that's what you had to do to play it on hard but i did beat hard ngs one and two which was fine but i guess the next ones would be extreme you know but I've never really felt the need to ever play the Metal Gear games on really hard difficulties or nothing. I've never really seen them like that, you know? Or tried it as much, but that's what I mean. Last year was my first hard mode runs that I ever did.
Man, it's, it sucks when you think about MGS5 because Eli was supposed to have like a whole arc or something for his own, like a whole... Split it for tax purposes. Oh, I see, because they're from like different countries and that with the tax stuff, yeah. Yeah, UK Nightmare left a couple of times a few years ago. I remember them like leaving and then coming back and I remember that shit. They do marathons, yeah. But like the Outer Haven Network's just no on that much anymore. So what's going on with DRK? So I wonder if he's like back home. You were streaming a wee while ago, you done Witcher 3, but mm, sucks to see it go down, but yeah, it seems like three dogs made the best go for himself here eh? and it's because he streamed on the side anyway and his own he done it pretty smartly you have to hand it off you know like when people had no had they'd had a, no had enough metal gear on an outer haven channel like three dog would stream on the side so people would come and say hello or see him play silent hills and get people from there they already had like a core fan base so those people would go over and check three dog so he was always working on that on the side you know what I mean? So, you give it up to that, you know? Like, he'd, he'd kind of, like, been working on it, you know? Which was, I respect that. But so, like, it feels like DRK, because he never had his own channel on the side, he should have. You know what I mean? But they all should have had their own channel on the side. Nightmare does some stuff, but he's not as popular as 3Dog, but that's probably because he never streamed as much, but... Yeah, it's a shame though, eh? But it was going to go downhill, like... I mean, DRK's probably a hardcore Metal Gear guy because he doesn't really have a lot, lot of nice words to say about some of the other things, like Twin Snakes or Five and that. Like, Twin Snakes, like, they hate that shit, you know? Ooh! Nice trick, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Little 14 year old chick kicking these murderers' asses. Love it. Um, where was that we needed to go? I think it's the B1 because we got the crowbar. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, I think DRK will be fine if he keeps it going. But he will have to play Metal Gear because the channel was centered around. It was centered around it, you know what I mean? Wait a minute, am I going the right way? See, at least like. Wait, I think this is the wrong one, is it? B2, yeah. Wait, is that right? See, at least, um... Like, Three Dogs isn't completely associated with Metal Gear, but... I, th I think DRK will do fine and all, but... Man, it's a fucking wrong one, too. It's just he will have to find himself playing Metal Gear more than, like, Three Dog or something. And then a lot of people might stop coming back because there will be a lot of people that were purely there 
for, for Metal Gear, you know, so that, that will lose a viewer base for sure. I think this is the wrong way too, actually. Yeah, my bad. Message is scratched on the paper. How many days have passed since he looked, locked me up in here? I can barely write anymore. I came in to rescue you, but now I have been made a prisoner. I have broken my promise to protect you. Soon I will be unable to even record these feeble thoughts. I have lost the spectacles which you gave me. Is it too much to ask for any remnant of you in my last hours? Need specs. Right on. Well, that's handy that we got them right there then. Rest in peace. Card key. You know, that's a series I've never played either, Do Deus Ex. I'd like to. I've got them all on Steam and never been able to get round to it. Like, I wonder when would be a nice time. Because that's what I assumed, like... Whoa. Now hold on, sir. Can't get in here, it's so silly. Was that B2? No, B1. Yeah, I bet you they're gonna like redo Deus Ex or something, though. No? Probably. I think they should. Modern day Deus Ex. I'm intrigued by that series. got another one of those arrows they want you to use them on the normal bosses but like nah man that's what i mean with a hoarding problem like you're you're definitely better like use a name on the last boss you know what i mean like he's the problem i mean from what i remember he was easier to use with it. Babies? Always. Oh 
Oh wait, we're back here. I'm really not sure where the fucking baby noise is. You don't think they would like just do a brand new one or Mum? Is that you? Where are you? Mum. Alyssa. My sweet baby. This necklace has been handed down in the Hamilton family for generations. There are four leaves, one each for love, friendship, hope, and courage. These four leaves together lead the wearer to true happiness. True happiness. I'll give it to you, Elisa. What? When you're older. Philip, darling, father, Alyssa has laughed for the first time. What are you doing, Dick? Grandpa! Stop, Dick! Don't do this! Whoa. That's right, I just remembered what happened. Why did Nancy have to marry a man like you? A man with no spy, no spirit? Yes. Her grandfather is a bastard. Oh, is this a boss fight? Let's go! I'll be digging these boss fights, man. Actually, that one was the easiest one so far, eh? I bet you he's a dick, though. I just got a feeling that this guy is going to be an ass to, like, get away from. Yeah, this guy's a dick. I I'm feeling it, Pixel. I feel like I remember him being a dick, you know. 921 years, the chopper. Oh my god, yeah. Yep, I'm feel. I'm no... Hmm. You can't 
Hmm. Right, just calm down. Yeah, this isn't over yet, is it? No, we get sent somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh man, and this is the shit part. I feel like I remember. I don't know. Hmm. I think there's a puzzle here that's really annoying. Might need googling. Yeah, man. I feel like I remember roaming around a maze and it was annoying. The 12th of May, 1998. Dick's no. My sweet Alyssa, her small hands have grasped my heart and will not let go. But to think that the father of my beautiful granddaughter is Philip, it is more than I can bear. I consented to the marriage so as to protect the ruder bloodline. I realize now that was a foolish mistake. The man lacks class and has not a shred of dignity. He loses no opportunity to exhibit his stupidity and weakness of character. We Hamiltons have no place for men of that nature. Even Nancy has been affected by his rubbish, saying that she does not want to raise Alyssa to be a ruder. Of course, the existence of a ruder is fraught with danger. But given the gravity of the situation and the great responsibility of a ruder family, the obligation cannot be shirked. Any attempt to avoid such a duty is in Tom, you came back. As long as I am the head of this house, that man will never be accepted as one of us. Finally, Philip went too far. I could no longer allow him to defy me. That headstrong act has turned me into a vile murderer. I must carry my secret to the grave. I cannot allow the Ruder line and the Hamilton legacy to be disrupted. There is nothing to be done but handle the police carefully and tread with the utmost caution. Ooh. This one. How is the Ace Attorney then? Hey, this is what I'm remembering. I feel like there's some asshole puzzle here, Pixel. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, let's have a look. I feel like I got stuck here. What are you playing right now, comrade, anyway? Are you playing anything in particular? <gasps> oh man, I'm feeling it tonight, dude. Ah, oh, nice. Has anybody else here ever played the Ace Attorney games? Because I've, like, never tried them at all. I've always been tempted, but because they were always...
these are the rooters. I wish. I just wish I could be resurrected to fight them. What a shame. A subordinate stole my heart from me, and the entities used it to perform the ritual of engagement. Bunch of fifteen year old chicks. What is the ritual of engagement? Tell me. Tell me what's going on. Oh yeah, it did just come out, comrade. Yeah, I was talking about it earlier. I've not played it since vanilla. But I still feel like that done me, you know, it was a long game. Blasphemy, eh? That's what I keep hearing, no pixel. It's because they were all... Like I'm saying, like, I'm not a handheld only gamer, you know, like... I've always preferred playing my games on the TV. You know what I mean? So I've missed so many types of games. It's, they just brung out that Ace Attorney collection. I'm not entirely sure which ones are on it though. Yeah, I've never played it though, uh... Toga either, mate. Oh, heard good shit, man. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you have played them, Karoi? I feel like you'd probably like them, Martha, if you're still on the creep in here. Yeah, Steam's got it. Maybe get them in a sale, you know? Oh yeah, this looks trouble, doesn't it? There's no actual indication for where you are. That's something that kind of gets me with this map. Yeah, Steam's got a trap, but that's not all the games though, I don't think. So a lot of them are still handheld exclusive. This guy is hilarious. Now you know this, sir. This is what happens to those who dare to stand against us. Oh, really? You'd rather play them on a DS pixel? Nancy is not the only one. This graveyard is full of the bones of those who I have destroyed. You're lying. Now, prepare to hand over your heart. The ritual of engagement will begin soon. Oh, that is pretty cheap. <laughs> do 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 do. Now yeah, let's have a look at this. And Mum's handwriting, twenty-two slash three. Twenty-second of March. Two weeks until Alyssa's birthday, I am so worried that I don't know what I'll do with myself. I'll, I sent her to boarding school so that she wouldn't have to fight as a ruler. But will the entities let Alyssa, Alyssa's heart go so easy? They say a ruder's heart is necessary in the ritual of, the, of engagement. A ruder heart taken from the body of one who has reached her 15th birthday. I only hope that she can elude them as until our birthday is passed. Save it here. Mm hey -hmm. man, it looks like the stream died for a wee bit there. Um, I have no idea what happened. 
Something happened there. I never lost the internet. OBS just literally... OBS never even went down. I never lost the internet. OBS never went down. That was a Twitch crash. That was an actual Twitch crash. They're rare. Yeah, no, I never lost any internet. Let me just check. And it only lost for like half a second. And it was back on. Well, it did go OBS reconnection successful, but... Well, I guess OBS did crash then for like a second. Weird. Oh, things happen, I guess. But at least it was only for a second. Strange. Oh, really? Well, it's probably happening then, Tom. And that was the weirdest crash I've ever seen. It, like, wasn't even a proper crash. What can you do, eh? Oh, you are still here, junkie. Yeah, that, that was like the usually when OBS crashes or something, like it goes down, you can see it going down, but that was like an instant, instant crash there. You see some weird shit in your times here, you know? Oh, well, that's the weirdest crash I've ever seen. Book of Entities 3. In 1655, a woodcutter by the name of Harold Powell was born in Cardiff, Wales. Hideously deformed at birth, he suffered the taunts and ill will of all those around him. At 17 years of age, he proposed marriage to Emily Dickens, the innkeeper's daughter, but was cruelly rebuffed. In retaliation, he is said to have dismembered em Emily with his axe. Oh wait, because she turned him down? Four years following the gruesome event, he went from the village he went from village to village, abducting young girls and butchering them in the same fashion. Two years later he was caught by villagers and killed. However, Powell was possessed by an entity and revived to hunt for rooters as the head of the subordinates. Oh really he's the head subordinate? Hmm. Mm -mm. What else was leaked on that Capcom thing again? Anything else? I've not really seen them. I know they were talking about there was an Onimusha there. Uh Karoi. For us Onimusha lovers. But there is that there was actually an Onimusha there. So that's exciting. That they're well, I kinda knew that they were going to do a new Onimusha at one point, because games like Sekiro and Neo are popular. And like, you know, that's that's what it's all about, you know? Damn, this does... Do those things actually just like, tell on me? Wow, that guy fucked me up there.
Yeah, I was just wondering. I wasn't too sure. Purify thyself with holy water and awaken the lions in order. Oh, this is sucking. Oh, I no water at all and he's here. I'm gonna have to go back and get more water. Oh, nice trip. We're running. You can't get away. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice trick. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, nice trick. Uh. Yeah, there was quite a few, like Devil May Cry 6, you know. I love the RE3 door noises. Can I turn this guy off? That is, the lion's eyes are glowing. No, I can turn that one off. What's this one? I think I've done it wrong. It's like a one-eyed lion, two-eyed lion, and a three-eyed lion. That's a three-eyed. That's probably wrong, but you can't turn them off. Hmm. Nothing's happening. No. Didn't think so. Okay, that's the one. I'm just going one, two, three. Why would it not let you turn it off? Because you get chased by this guy. Yeah. Come on now! Oh no. Yeah, this guy annoys me. I'm like... Get that butterfly off me. You can easily run out of water here, man. Okay, that's three. Ow! Nice, nice. We got the Compass of Shadows. Wait, fucking hell, dude. You can't get away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, he did almost have me there. <laughs> the AI is quite silly, though. We just run into this hut, and he's like, oh, shit, you know? Oh, Dragon's Dogma 2 was announced a wee while ago, actually. Yeah, new Onimusha title is going to be hype. I'm like, it'll be different, though. Man, I hope it still has some skill things. I'm thinking about doing another Onimusha 3 run because, you know, I love that game. Critical mode. I, was, I just really like playing that. So fun. 
three was it three versions of SF6? Hmm. That makes sense though. The fact that they're planning it ahead of time already though. That's just what happens. Street Fighter 6, Super Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 YOLO edition. Like that's just how it goes. Oh yeah, new Mega Man game. Monster Hunter 6. I'm looking forward to the next Monster Hunter. I just want it to be a one game only thing rather than like Rise being a side game. I want it to be like a mainline World 2 or whatever. Yeah. I mean like I'm a new Monster Hunter fan, you know? Um they're what the they're like fun with friends. Like, holy shit. Oh no. I had a feeling I should have done that before. Man, a new Onimusha title. It'll be a reboot, though. It'll be a re-something. Yeah, it'll be something like that. They should bring back Super Street Fighter. Super Street Fighter is one of the best names they ever came up with for a sequel because I just feel like it got a bit too uh, not like weird over the course of time. Like, is there any water in here? Actually, no water in here. Like, so like. Street Fighter 4 was like the standard and it's Super Street Fighter 4 like it's just the best name you know like Super Street Fighter 2 you know Super like Street Fighter 2 always went by like I forget the names of Street Fighter 2 there was so many Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition all that bullshit but like the ultimate one is like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo like that's the ultimate and then well, to be fair, like, the Street Fighter 3 series and the Alpha series have, like, good names going. Like, Alpha doesn't have much. It's, like, Alpha 1, Alpha 2 Gold, Alpha 3, Alpha 3 Max. So it's, like, there's not much going on there. But, like, Third Strike has weird ones. Street Fighter 3 New Generation, Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, right? And there was going to be a Fourth Strike or whatever it was. That's what the online edition was, but it never happened. So it was just a port of Third Strike. But like Street Fighter 4 brought back the Super Street Fighter, you know, like. So it was Super Street Fighter 4. But after that, they went weird and, and called it Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And I was like, what's going on? Like, how's Arcade Edition sound cooler than Super Street Fighter? Yeah, anyway. And then they went Ultra. I've always found Ultra Street Fighter like one of the worst names for me personally. I'm just no big fan of it. Um, arcade's better than Ultra, but... And then, what was it? Street Fighter V had a few. Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V. Arcade Edition and then Championship Edition. That's, so it brought back the Championship thing. So I, I feel like Super is always such a cool one, you know? Still, it's just personal, I guess. Yeah, but I don't think it makes the Street Fighter 3 ones, like, weird or anything. They stand out because they're not just called the same shit, you know? I would say probably. But, like, for Street Fighter 6, it would be cool if they came up with some, maybe some new ones, some cool ones, rather than just Arcade Edition. Maybe. Like, one of my favorite names is Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. My god, that's so sick. You know what, like, I like Mortal Kombat a lot too. Um, not as much for competitive fighting, but like the older games, yeah. Like, Mortal Kombat 2, like, 
Mortal Kombat didn't have many names because they always just they're just the game. But like Mortal Kombat 3 is one of the first ones that done it. Like Mortal Kombat 3 was sick, but like people always felt like it was missing something. And then it had Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, which was basically a ultimate, ultimate motherfucker. You know what I mean? So much so that even the one that came after it, Trilogy, which Junkie likes, isn't he as good as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3? You know, like, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, it's like they put all their eggs in one basket for that game and created, like, they had Scorpion and Sub-Zero and all that back and Ninja Sub-Zero. For, like, that, that version of Mortal Kombat is, like, so cool. What the hell's going on here? It's one of my favourite names, though. And I've never brought it back. Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Call it shit now, they do. Mortal Kombat XL. Like, what? Extra large? Extra large hot dog? Like... Let's remove the Sky Rooter Stone. Yeah? Letters are engraved on the wall. Read the engraving. Tomb of the Ruder Warrior, Captain of the Seas. Painting of a soldier on a ship. And this is a sky one we've got, alright. Well, Faded Retribution actually, Tekken 7. And then it got, like when it was in the arcade, it was in the arcade before it ever came out on console. For years. Tekken 7 it was called, and then Faded Retribution was the arcade update. Which is what eventually the console version is Faded Retribution. But they just went back to calling it Tekken 7. So, uh, but yeah, it does like Dark Resurrection for Tekken 5. Tekken 5 had Dark Resurrection and people remember that one fondly. Angel of the Air. Well, this one can be removed. Only one may be carried. How the fuck are we moving them then? Fair. Hmm. I can only remove one. But all three of them are fucking. In a tomb. Like what? Only one may be carried. Interesting. Well, maybe you go back to the start. Right here? Yeah. That's a sky one. Um... That ship one from there goes in the right one. Sea Rooter. Yeah, that one's the seas. Hey, come on now. Yeah, they've done, they done some terrible names for the later Mortal Kombats. So this one... Captain of the Seas, yeah. Well, 
What are you up to this weekend, though, dudes? Anything in particular? Eh? Nuke, I bet your new clock tower game wasn't on that fucking list though, was it? So that's a bummer. No, I've not seen it yet. It's not been heavily advertised, so I've not seen it on the... To be fair though, the story trailer doesn't interest me right off the bat though, Tom. I've no like... You know what I mean? I've not really had a huge interest in Final Fantasy in a long time, so I'm no like... I'm no like, excited to be like, oh, I want to see what the story's like. I don't know, it's because I've no like... I don't know. Uh, if they show a combat trailer though, like, I kind of want to see the combat first and foremost for me, you know? It's ultimately what keeps me playing the games and now. So, see the combat, see what it's got going on. Oh, that's the wrong one now. But yeah, I don't really watch story trailers too much. Oh, really? Tell you what, though, I was watching the story trailers for God of War, because that game was getting me... It's getting me going. Yeah, I'd rather just wait and see some of the gameplay. And I'll be like, okay, see what the story's all about, kind of thing. But I'll wait closer to the time, because it's probably ages away. Okay. The compass of light. Sweet. Does it look good though? What is the story about? You could just tell me, like, fuck. What about you, Pixel? Have you watched it? Because you like your Final Fantasy, man, you know? pedestal where the ghosts were. So where the fuck are we going now? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Do I put it on the thing? I think I put it on the things. Yes, the thing. I'm looking forward to playing Crisis Core Remastered, though. I always like the idea of Sephiroth being a good guy, you know, and Crisis Core and that, and seeing how it all went wrong. He's quite a nice guy. That's what gets me upset about it all. Wow, falling asleep in here, huh? Is that, is that what's going on? <laughs> Love it. Everybody falls asleep in here. Man. I can't keep dudes awake.
Yeah, I'm interested in seeing the gameplay for sure though. Ooh, nice cave looks. Looking well creepy in here. Well, not really. Just calm down. Oh, nice. We'll take that though. Special arrow. You know what I mean? Hog that until the last fight. true desire is to become an entity, there is no purer path than this. Remove the heart of a 15-year-old brooder of the same bloodline, and before the beat of our heart is stilled, drink deeply of her blood. All right. Thus will the ritual of engagement be completed, and the dark power of the entity shall be thine. Hmm. What? That's why they're talking about my heart. Want to eat it. <laughs> Who wants to drink my blood to become an entity? Who would do this? It's definitely sad, yeah. Because he's quite a good dude, you know. Yeah, Sephiroth's a homie. Apart from the killing women and all that, you know. Oh shit, I just remembered the last killers. They're actually kind of sick. Because that's them there, the statues. Yes. Do 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 Man, I wish I gave a shit about Smash Whores. You know that, Tom? It makes me upset that people enjoy it and I'm like, I just... It's not my thing, like, you know, it's... I prefer the Street Fighters and all that, you know? Oh wow, camera shake. Whoa! Even though I like the idea. That's why I like Marvel vs. Capcom though, that's... Alyssa! What chance does a pathetic little girl like you have to bring salvation to the dead rooters? None! I think it just misses stuff from fighting games that I like, you know? Yeah. The chopper. Victims 44. Sentence to 921. Okay. Judgment. Man, that's so sick. Something about these boss fights are insanely funny. And fun to play. So this guy is definitely harder to get going here. Camera's killing me here. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's like some angel that needs to deal with these bitches, you know? Wow, he's not even dead. That never even killed him. Awesome, yo, the Clover of Hope. Uh, there we go. We're saved. Thank you, Alyssa. I'm always streaming. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Destroy the subordinates. Don't let the ritual of engagement happen. Mom? Mom! Well done, Alyssa. Mom! <laughs> it's not that easy, Alyssa. Mom! Alyssa, it is I who will carry out the ritual of engagement to become an entity. You have no choice but to succumb to my final subordinate and donate your heart. No snow over here. If anything, it's round about Christmas, but it's no like a, uh, you know, shitload of snow or anything. When am I getting a free delivery on you, Crash? And this guy cracks me up. My mother, my mother was... What happened? What's the matter with your mother? What's this? My mum used to cherish its four-leaf clover necklace, but one of the leaves is missing. This is my last chance to see my mother again. I can't defeat the entity without all four leaves. Melissa, it'll be okay. I'm here. I'll do anything to help you. Dennis! All the leaves will be found in time. You have to believe me, Alyssa. You're right. I'll find all the leaves and save Mum from the entities. Comrade was just saying that earlier. Don't forget you He does look like me. Ron. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Like big Ron Weasley. One thing I'd like to He annoys the shit out of me, this guy. What is this place? I don't think there's such a thing 
As if you cannot sub for free. Impossible. What annoys me is he's probably going to end up being her love interest or some shit. This little piece of shit. Like Ron Weasley, you know what I mean? Even Ron Weasley's cooler than this guy, though. That's what I mean. This guy is just annoying. Yeah, there's no such thing as a free sub. I don't, I don't think I can, like, you know, be like, oh, crashes. No, you can't do that. Wait for me. Fuck you. Fucking dick, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a Dead Space remake. It's actually interesting because at least we'll be playing the shitter one first. There's a lot of survival horrors coming out. Dead Space, Callisto Protocol, RE4. All within months of each other. Dead Space January, the Callisto Protocol February, RE4. March. So it's like we're maybe starting with the shittest one first, which is kind of cool. Well, I mean, we say that. Callisto Protocol could be like a fucking mess. We just don't know. But it's got the most promise. Dennis! Dennis! Where are you? I like gingers. What? But you said she wouldn't be back for another six months. Is she ginger? I know, but that's her. No She's more blonde, sure. actually. Wait, Dennis. She's more blonde than Ginger, but she has got a hint of Ginge. Sis. I've come back, Dennis. I couldn't leave you in that house alone any longer. I'm here now. I've missed you so much. Sis. This is suspect. <laughs> I think it's getting delayed, Crash. Some remarkable powers. But no one is powerful enough to defeat us. If you want your friend alive, give us your heart so we can create a new entity. Dennis! 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 Well, the hope is that it's December 2nd, but one of the latest. One of the latest things that has happened. Oh, is that, um... It, something got updated and it's showing February for it, but, like, it's not been announced the delay yet. Photo of Mother. Dennis's letter to Linda. Hi, sis, how's Africa? Have you seen any elephants? I'm not too bad. Living alone is really hard, though. Don't know how you managed to raise me. I'll never say this to your face, but I do appreciate that, you know. When you get back, I'll find a job and do my share. Just another six months. It'll go by in a blink. I'll write again soon. Take it easy. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I'm no certain at all, but like, that's, that's the rumor. I mean, like, usually it kind of makes sense that the game will get delayed, man. I don't have a Discord. I don't want old, old people like you loitering in it, you know what I mean?
Yeah, I don't have a Discord. I think I might make one at some point, but dude, like, I've got OCD in that, you know? For shit like that. And it would annoy me, like, having to moderate it. Or what are all these creepy dudes up to in the Discord while I'm sleeping? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? I'd, I'd maybe only let in true homies, if I was being honest. There's a portal in there. Three keyholes. I might make one more. If I do though, it'll be called Tasty's Bat Cave. Legit. Yeah. Don't want anyone crash in your Discord pixel, yeah. So what, do you just let in like Homies. Some Twitch girls do porn? What? Well, like, I know there's porn stars that stream, if that's what you mean. But what's that got to do with Discord? The Looking Glass. Wonder what the cupboard. They're no broken. There must be another way to open them. All right. It's a strange motive on it. Definitely not a mirror. Hmm. Oh really? Like what? Are you, if, if random dudes have got in pixel, you just get them out, yeah. Kick them out of there, or? How'd you moderate it, Karoi? That's what gets me, man, you know. Who's doing that, like? Who's doing that, Crash? Like, what? Who's doing that shit? What, oh, there's some chick's Discord, like? Oh, I remember, there's two worlds in this one. The guy has one world and the girl has the other world. <laughs> it's showtime. Wait, how she get banned from Discord for flashing her tits? How's that a problem? Oh, you got a band roll? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, but is that not allowed on Discord? It's just a chat thing. Release form. Yeah, it is pretty pretty chill, I guess. Yeah, I just hate the idea of moderating every lane and channel. Do you know what I mean, dude? Like, fuck. That's what gets me going. But it is, like, a good... I think people, like... I think, I think most people should do it, especially if they're doing Twitch and that. So I'm kind of, like, missing out in that regard. But... What, you can't get in here, woman, huh? I didn't think Discord had rules about that if a chick wanted to, like... So what if you're in a private... Vo vo what if you're in a voice channel and, and she just wants to show you them? Is that, like, not allowed? Is that actually, like, not allowed? That seems crazy. 
Oh, you hear her. <laughs> right, yeah, maybe it's a private Discord that would be needed for that then. I just feel like that would be fucked up. It bans someone. Or like, showing their tits to their, their own Discord. I just... I, I get it on Twitch, but like... You know what I mean? I don't know why. I don't know. It sounds weird to me. I don't, I don't know how that could be a thing. I'm not understanding. Like, like on Twitch, I get it, because anybody could come in, you know what I mean? It's like a TV, essentially. Fuck. Oh! Photo of a kid. Do 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 do. Oh, hiding here. Get in there, get in there, get in the toilet. Do you think they'll have like at one point they'll have mature mature Twitch channels? That's what I mean, man. Like, 18 plus only, even though, like, this is... You need to be 18 to be in here, technically. But, like, actual ones where they might do, like, weird shit with women. Or what... I think it's only a matter of time. Seeing people sucking on the earlugs and all that shit. That's, like, stupid, you know? Plus, the hot tub streamers are, like, that close, man, you know? But, like, the earlug suck-in is, like, ridiculous. I don't really give a shit about it. You know, I know the Twitch stuff. It's like ASMR, like... Depends on what you consider a labelled key C. Like... Some stuff's cool. Like, I like the, the sound of rain off on windows and thunder and lightning and that, which is technically ASMR, but I do care about some chick, like, sucking earlobes. Like, stuff like that, it's like, what? I can't even believe that, like... Dude, I was watching one the other day. No, the other day, it was fucking, like, a year ago or something, while everyone was, like, talking about this shit. Like, some dude's, like, got a YouTube channel, who's, like, pretending to be a doctor. It's like, Okay. Okay, let me listen. Let me listen to the, the, the fucking thing, you know? It was, it was like doing a doctor's appointment to the camera, like, in a quiet, like, voice like that. Like, let me listen to your heart. Okay, everything sounds good there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, all this bullshit. And it was like, what's going on? But, like, I don't know if people like it. It's, you know, it's, it's what it is. But, like, it's kind of crazy, yeah. But like I'm I'm old school. I feel like I'm old school and that I like the sound of rain and thunder and lightning. Rather than some some chick pretending to be a doctor. You know, shit like that.
You doubt it will, Toga. Yeah, I hope it doesn't. Eh? I don't know if it's meant to be sexual. Uh, to me, it feels like they're like really close to making it. That a furiously scribbled journal entry. How many bloody months has passed since they locked me in this excuse for a clinic? Those idiot doctors still find reason for me to be here. I demand to be released. Every time I get a hospital release form, it is gone by morning. Get me out, please. Please let me out of here. I fear I'll go mad locked up in here. Only a three-day ban? Wait a minute, how did how do they only get a three-day ban for that? How's that no like how's that a thing? You mean to tell me we could all get the decks out round here and like we wouldn't even get we'd only get a three-day ban for it? What? Maybe no in here though. But like <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Big streamer. What? Oh my god, that's ridiculous excuse. Come on, Alicia. And they were like, okay. What bullshit though. Come on, Alicia. And I bet you she get more viewers now because of it. And Twitch are like kind of okay with it because now she's got more viewers. Mm. Mm. Oh, labelled key B. Yeah, yeah, they don't apply. What bullshit though? Oh god, Crash, every time you're like, I want to ask you something, it's like, what are you going to ask, you know? Shadow banned for cleavage. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that shit too. Dude, there was that chick. Who was that chick? I don't know. I don't really watch these people, but like I I know about the group that they hung out with. Like this was years ago. Like back in the Hearthstone era. The Hearthstone era of Twitch, if you were around for that, was like fucked up. You know what I mean? Like the soda poppins. I don't know if it's his girlfriend or whatever, but you know about that guy? Like, this chick would just, like, flash, flash herself on there. And, like, you knew what she was fucking doing. Like, everybody knew. Like, how were they allowed to get away with that shit, you know? Like, I can't remember her name. I feel like she used to hang around with a soda pop and this blonde chick, you know? But, like, that just blows my mind. Hmm. Right, I'm missing... Just blows my mind that she got away with it, you know? I don't know if they stream anymore or anything. She was huge, though. But she's fucking annoying. Like, it's just like these rich people that know nothing other than being rich. You know, like those kind of people? Man. Actual rich, like... Wait, is this the wrong way? I don't, I don't know if it's, like, bad taking Viagra. I've got no clue. Shouldn't have to take that shit at 30 and odd anyway, man. But, you know. Wouldn't you think?
Phone lines cut. She had an edge in competitive games out of it. Hmm. <laughs> That's, oh, there we go. That's hilarious. I don't know when it's coming out. There's actually no... And by the way, it's a remake. You know what I mean? I know like they're the same, but like a remaster is the same game, but, but released. But like a remake is a brand new thing. It's when it gets to reimagine it, and those are the weird ones, you know. But I don't know when it's coming out, it's the only one that's not got a release date. Yeah, mate. Let's not beat around the bush, though. It is easier for, like, women to stream. You know what I mean? For, like, Twitch and that. Like, I mean, for various reasons, you know what I mean? There's so many fucking thirsty dudes out there, man. It's actually insane. You know what I mean? Just like, you, they hear... Dude! Like, they hear, like, some woman's voice and it just wakes them weak, you know? Like, weak! You a thirsty dude? Bob's thirsty, man, you know? Ow. <laughs> okay. I don't think we'll be back here. Nah, I didn't think so. Do 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 do. Oh, like, like he can't see you. Grandpa? Oh, yeah, is that what you, Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, Toga. Yeah, I mean, like, most people... It does, I don't get, it doesn't bother me with the cam, but I do like, hmm, I don't know, I watch more dudes than chicks, I guess, I think. I mean, there's not many, like, big famous chicks that I watch, like, who is it? I can't think of any, like, actual, like, huge streamer that I watch who's a woman. Hmm, not actually. Oh wait, I watch Metal Cat, but she's no huge. I don't know if he's Metal Cat, Tekken, she play Tekken, Dark Souls and that. But she's like actual, like, embraces the milfness. You know what I mean? She embraces that shit. Today is Elisa's 10th birthday. The ruder powers will become visible any time now. Elisa is great. No, I wouldn't think so, Tom. She is everything to me. And I wish for nothing more than to watch over her all her. I don't know what it'll end on, though. But I know that is not to be. Every step she takes towards adulthood is a step away from me. Must I leave her? Probably end on so much to be with her Radiant Dawn, I would think, is where the remakes would end. I have stumbled across an incredible document. An account of a ceremony called the Ritual of Engagement. It is written that by obtaining the heart of a ruder on her 15th birthday and drinking her blood, a person can be transformed into an entity and receive the gift of immortality. I am disgusted by the nature of this ritual, of course. But at the same time, there is a part of me that cannot resist its allure. If I tore out Alyssa's heart with these hands and partook of her blood, I could be joined with her for all eternity. Am I capable of such a monstrosity? Must I desecrate my beloved in order to save myself? Hmm. Yet another amazing discovery. 
the legend of Lord Burroughs. In the document is a mysterious triangular crest. It is said that the one who is able to decipher the secrets of the crest will be able to become an entity. I suspect that this too is related to the ritual of engagement. But what could the letters A, D and N signify? I must know. Somehow, I must uncover the truth. The answer is hiding out there somewhere. Yeah, I never put anything on the screen that would cover up the gameplay. Definitely RE1's the best remake ever made by man. Yeah. Resident Evil 1. It is the best remake of all time. You know? But yeah, Tom, I was thinking that I think it would end on Radiant Dawn. I still think they'll make a 5 remake, a 6, a 7, and an, an 8, and a 9, and a 10. But 11 is Shadow Dragon, and, and like, that's what I mean. 11 is Shadow Dragon. Hmm. 11 Shadow Dragon, which is the first remake, in New Mysteries, the second remake. But the thing is, it's like, it's been so long since Shadow Dragon in New Mystery that I was saying to Karoy a while back that I think they might retell Marth's story as well. So he might get a second remake well down the line. But I don't think they'll ever, like, I think, I think Awakening is where it could potentially stop. The only reason I say they could remake a remake with shadow dragon and new mystery is because i think they could and it would be so far away anyway i feel like marth's story kind of has to be retold but i think you're also going to get to the stage where they break what one's coming next why does it have to be four next you know what i mean why i think i think it will be four next but i think we've thought about that but i think like like, they might be more in a hurry to do, like, a Path of Radiance remake than a Six remake or something, you know? Like, I think, like... And, like, retelling Marth's story again is probably maybe a big deal to them. Yeah, I like Devil May Cry. Yeah. That's what I mean, though, is, like, with Shadow Dragon, they're so old now, but they're good. I like them a lot. At least make them available for people to play, but they chose to like re release Fire Emblem 1 on the Switch. Stupid. At least, I don't know, I prefer like Shadow Dragon by a minute. People call Shadow Dragon Shoddy Dragon. I, th I don't think people understand. The games are like actually alright. Cool. I like them more than the GBA ones by a mile. But no, everyone's me. But I think they could remake a remake with Marth's story at one point. I, th I just think they could, because he's like he is like the main guy. Like, think about Engage. It's showing Marth everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, Christ, and what his game's stuck on a DS? The fuck, yo? Metroid Zero is the best remake. I've played that. It is good. But the problem is it's a Metroid game. That's its problem. Now, I'm not saying Metroid shit, but like, they're good. But like, dude, when I played Metroid Dread, I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? And I was like, okay, cool. We're going to go back and we're going to play a bunch of them. We played Zero Mission. We played Fusion. We played all the 2D ones. But dude, the series is missing something. Like Castlevania kicks its ass. Uh, they don't at me, dude. Castlevania kicks its ass. Because when it comes to Metroid, there's no reason to explore everything. Because all you get is missile upgrades. It's my number one complaint. All you get is missile upgrades, bomb upgrades, and who needs 200 fucking missiles? It's just there for the sake of being there. So, like, I would really hope that Metroid does new shit one day rather than just missiles. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? At least that's my beef with Metroid. But, like, best remake ever, though? I've never played 
Well, I mean, I played Super Metroid, but I don't know. Like, it was a GBA game. Best remake ever? Nah, man. Bullshit. People are not Resi fans then, because if you if you play Resident Evil One remake, that's the best remake ever. But I guess if you're a huge Metroid fan, then that will be the best remake ever. Thing is though, if you actually like look on the internet and get like the the, the wide opinion of the internet, RE remake will be the best. At the end of the day, Zero Mission is a GBA game, so it's not like a big thing. So like. Hmm. It's definitely better than playing the original game, though. Like, nobody's doubting that shit. Then skip to binding. Yeah, I don't know. You'd think they'd do Tracia? Hmm. I don't know. I think Fire Emblem 4 Remake would be a bigger deal than a Tracia Remake. It'd really fix a lot of 4's slowness or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, Tracia... Like, will that be a big deal if that comes after Fire Emblem 4? You know what I mean? Will it be, like, a big deal? I don't know. Right. That's what I mean. So, like... But that's what gets me. Like, why is the only things in a Metroid game just missiles and bombs? To explore everywhere? And that's all you're gonna find. Hmm, something about it was underwhelming in that regard. Like, that's all there is. When, like, Castlevania, you get all these different power-ups, exploring all the areas feels like you you want to. Do you know what I mean, though? I don't know. I was pretty new to Metroid, though, after Dread. But I do think they're good games, holy shit. Damn, dude. <laughs> Did I what, Super Metroid? Finish it? Oh, come on! What's going on here? Sir? Hmm. It's a panicking. Get in the fucking door. Yeah, I did play Super Metroid, yeah. Super Metroid's cool. Cool tunes too. Shadows of Valencia. Yeah, it's good shit. The thing is, when you play a remake though, I feel like everyone should have, a, have played the original as well in a way if you want to like see the difference, but I don't know. Like a big one anyway, who knows. Were you not here for Super Metroid Pixel? Yeah, true that though, Karoi. You do need, like, more stuff though than... And... The thing is with Castlevania is, like, you need the bat form, you need the super jump and all that in order to get to certain areas of the castle. So, like, you do need, like, quite a few of them. You know what I mean? But with Metroid... They're just missiles, you know? I can't even, like, get over that. I know, he did whiff one hella there. Sh I think Shadows of Valencia, you would probably play that over the OG anyway, Tom, you know? Yeah... 
Yeah, I played Super. Super was the one we started on, maybe? I think so, yeah, I did. Yeah, you were here, actually. Yeah. Right, like, it's like, uh, well, remember, I got a freeze on it, and I was close to the end, so I never finished it because I got a freeze. And I didn't save it for ages, you know? So I technically didn't finish it. But then we'd played, like, all the other ones. And even Prime to see what all the fuss was about, you know? Remember that? Prime was a bit of a letdown. No teleporters in Prime. I found it crazy that there was not a teleporter in Prime at all. And one of absolute horrible last boss. Like, wow. I remember being so angry like with that. Employee's memo. I've received orders from Ralph and Jemima. Nice name. To kill to to kill still more. Hmm. I cannot continue in this fashion. I killed ten last week, and this week they went they want twenty. When will it stop? Soon there will not be a person left in the entire village. I must do something about this. They are to be imprisoned in the kitchen. One of the steel bars on the window can be removed. I hope that they are able to see that before it's too late. And once they escape, I pray that they will tell the world of the atrocities that will go on behind these walls. Damn. <laughs> Fuck that up. Mm. 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 Whoa. There's a wee bit of tank controls going on in this game, like when when you ooh, like when you enter. This guy is actually quite nasty. Like, look at the damage, you know. Like, if he, if he gets you in line, like, holy shit! The reason that I got fucked over there by the camera, because like you walk down and it keeps you going, like tank controls actually. But it's no tank controls the game, but if the camera changes, it will keep you going in that direction, you know? So it, it buggered me there. Yeah, OG 7's good, yeah. Man, do you do some inbreeding with the chocobos, yeah? Chocobo inbreeding, you know? That always cracks me up, like... Wow, this is legit Metal Gear, though. Or no? Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sick. Oh, shit. Is that gonna hit me? Don't do it. <sighs> if you wish to open the other path, calm the flames. Hmm.
charred skull. Oh shit. Slice and dice. Oh. She's like easy easier to deal with than the dude though. <laughs> that was sick. So they want you to... Well, we'll have a look here. Oh, I thought I could maybe fill that up. No? I wonder how they'll make you breed chocobos for the new one, you know what I mean? I don't think they'll be doing any inbreeding with the chocobos in Remake Part 2 or whatever. I'm just not seeing it, man. Wait, what's that say? Large painting. There's a title on it. N. Loving Mother suffers in place of daughter A. E. Okay. Mm hmm. You also got a gold chocobo for beating Ruby. But, like, it's interesting that they expect you to beat Ruby without the fucking Knights of the Round. I think that's the way they want you to beat it, but... Pfft. 5th of January 2000. I have trudged around... I have trudged around the blasted right. continent until my shoes are almost worn through. But it is no use. Where is the castle of Lord Buzz? That is the only place where the mystery of the triangular crest can be solved, I feel sure. It is hard to believe that three years have flown by since I embarked on my journey. I am not a smidgen closer to finding Brother's castle. Meanwhile, I grow older by the day, and my health continues to decline. I am certain that Nancy has by this time found my journals. And realized my plan to seize Alyssa's heart on her 15th birthday to carry out the ritual of engagement. How Alyssa must have grown in my absence. How I wish to be with her, to be one with her. And yet, I do not have the courage to perform the ritual. What do I do? If I do nothing, I am no better than her father. This Hamilton at least should have spied. This game's so sick, dude. I really wish they make another one, you know? And do it more in the style of this one than... Well, at the end of the day, Capcom have had the Clock Tower license for how long? Come on, boys, you know? Slice and Shit. Dice. Yeah, Sid, Sid and uh, Vince will look sick. Damn it, she's here again. Yeah, probably. End crest, okay. You ever fancy playing like OG FF7 Toga? Have you played that game? I can't remember if you said that, mate.
So I need to figure out what they want us to do to put out the fire here. It's just want me to put water over it? Shit. I'm not understanding what it says here. I need to like, there's mounds of ash brushed into a pile. I heard they use ash to extinguish fires. I need to somehow extinguish this fire. Ah. Oh. How though? No, you can't do that. I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to get rid of her so that she can do the ash. But like, you cannot get rid of this bitch. You know what I mean? What's the point in the invisibility band? Oh my god, what? I needed to look at it in order- okay. Now that is like... Some Link to the Past bullshit right there. Leave me alone. She will only come through that door. That guy looks sick. Got the D crest. What, we just had to decrest. Book of Entities 4. Lord Darcy Burroughs owed, owned much of southeast England at the beginning of the 17th century. He married Natalia Hamilton of the illustrious, illustrious Hamilton family, and they had one daughter, Annabelle. Despite his harsh reputation, Lord Burroughs loved his daughter dearly, bequeathing all his lands to her upon his death. In the fiftieth year of his life, Lord Burroughs, fearing the in impermanence of life, learned of the entities and the ritual of the engagement. With his daughter almost fifteen, he made the faithful the fateful decision to perform the ritual, but then disaster struck. On the day before her fifteenth birthday, Annabelle was killed when her carriage rolled onto its side. Shocked by the sudden death of his beloved daughter, as well as his inability to realise the ritual, Burroughs fell into a deep depression. When his despair finally dissipated, it was replaced by raging anger. Although he had both the coachman and the maid who were with Annabelle at the time of her death, it did little to... What does that say? Assuage his anger? It done little to assuage his anger. The massacre of his of his staff 
continued, even extending to the villagers on his lands. Wait a minute, is it saying he killed them? Though he had both the coachman and the maid who were with Annabelle at the time of her death killed, he had them killed, it did little to assuage his anger. The massacre of his staff continued, even extending to the villagers on his lands. Lady Burroughs did what she could to convince him to stop the savagery, but only succeeded in infl inflaming him further, and she too was felled. Lord Darcy Burroughs eventually died, crushed between the huge cogs that formed the mechanism of the clock tower of the castle as he escaped from mobs of angry farmers. According to legend, he vowed to plague the world with hate and terror for as long as the clock tower remained standing. Yo. Hey man, that's cool. Someone's trapped between the volumes. Oh, another five pages of lore. I have found the Burroughs Castle. I have finally solved the mystery. Lord Darcy Burroughs had a daughter, Annabel, but also a son, William, from his first marriage. Although Burroughs himself was killed, William escaped and lived out the rest of his days in peace under the pseudonym Billy Brown. Billy Brown. What a strange twist of fate. Although I took the Hamilton name when I married Francesca, my father was a Brown, a descendant of Billy Brown, which means that I am directly related to Lord Burroughs. The A, D, and N crests also make perfect sense now. Lord Burroughs' beloved daughter Annabelle's name, his first name, Darcy, and his wife's first name, Natalia. My name is Dick. Dick. My daughter is Nancy. And my lovely granddaughter is Alyssa. Destiny weaves its web in the strangest of patterns. Does the legacy of Lord Burroughs live on? The fury of he who failed to become an entity? Is it futile, after all, to fight against fate? I think it's easy living with the name Dick. You know what I mean? Or do you think some people are like really bothered by it, but do you think like other people are like, what if, you know? Yo, yeah, what's up, dick, you know? <laughs> Dennis. Yo, fuck, Dennis. fuck Dennis, by the way. Did they expect me to give a shit about Dennis? Dennis. Wow, she's gonna save Dennis. Yes, she is gonna save Dennis. Yeah, I really wonder eh, if, like, living with the, word, the name Dick would be an easy feat, you know? Probably not. Like, there's some dudes, someone out there, do you remember, like, have you ever seen Meet the Parents? Oh my fucking god, man, you know what I mean? Gaylord Fokker. <laughs> I think it still cracks me up to this day, even though I think they've done too many sequels for their own good, but the OG Meet the Parents. Man. That fucked me up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good comedy if he's ever... Oh shit. Whoa. Ooh. If you ever like fancy like watching a good comedy, like Meet the Parents One is like fucking awesome, you know? And also, like, me, myself, and Irene fucks me up and all, man. Like, whoa. It really does. Good shit. Oh, there's, like, nothing in here? Ain't that hard to believe. Okay, whatever, though. Yeah, Meet the Parents was good. Uh...
Oh shit, that fucking hit me. Oh, there's nothing in here either, getting bodied, man. Wow, that like got me back here. Yeah, being the nurse man. <laughs> This is trouble. Come on! I've like lost, I should have died twice there. Hmm. Okay, we'll take the invisibility band, but they're so shit. It's actually nuts. I, I like should have died twice there, because that's what saved me there was my rings, and that that's a one shot, apparently. Okay, I gotta respect it. Snippity snap. And on a sale, for sure, though, God of War is always, like, half price. Hmm. I need to get into this one again, I think. Um,
Yeah, but I don't know if I would be able to beat God of War mode on a replay, just thinking about it. Like, you're looking for a wee quick playthrough, it's like anything but quick, you know? But still, though. I, I, I think you could do it, Toga. Mind over matter, you know what I mean? But if you're not enjoying it, man, you know. <laughs> it's hard to enjoy if you're getting killed like 10 times in a row and that's... I've been there. No dead, big Ron Weasley. Welcome, Alyssa. That was just a dress rehearsal. Now let the show begin. Lights, camera, action! Dennis! Alyssa! <laughs> Give us your beating heart, or else Dennis is going to be sliced and diced. <laughs> Run, Alyssa! Forget about me! Run for your life! Run! Run! Run. Dennis! Silence. Silence! What's it going to be? Leave Dennis or donate your heart to us? The clock is ticking. Look at him! We need an answer! Yes! What's it to be? <laughs> <laughs> this game is hilarious. And awesome. I love how stupid the villains are. It's, it's like watching a movie, you know, like silly movie. In a good way. Oh, here we go. Book of Entities 5. The origins of Ralph and Jemima, the siblings who served Lord Burroughs, are unknown. Accounts relate to the Burroughs that the Burroughs picked them up on the battlefield or that they were brought over from the Orient. However, none of these stories are more than hearsay. The siblings were horrendously cruel by nature and it is said that they were torturers and executioners during Lord Burroughs' bloody campaign. Showing a peculiar fascination for blades, and in particular scissors, they found an endless enjoyment in gutting or dismembering victims while still alive. When Lord Burroughs was finally killed, Ralph and Jemima were stoned to death by the crowds, because both were possessed by the same entity. Because both were possessed by the same entity, they were resurrected together and continued to wreak havoc as subordinates. Yes. So, like, the only reason they have scissors, I think, is probably just a complete throwback to the original game with the scissors that the dude has, you know? I think so. Alyssa's drawings. For Grampy to do a today I read a book with pretty pictures. A wolf pretended to be grandma and ate a girl. It was scary, so I went to Grampy's room because Grampy would save me. Grampy is really strong. He can kill a wolf. I love Grampy. I'm gonna stay with him forever and ever. Alright. Fuck Grampy, by the way. He's the bad guy! I feel like I've seen this story in some shit before.
I wish I could return that Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, by the way. God damn it. Do you think they can you can return games unsealed? I don't think so. <laughs> That's the whole point of why they're sealed. You used to be able to. Like some they never used to be sealed actually in some places like back in the day. In the game shop. They used to bring the discs out from the back, put them in the case, and there you go, there's your game. So, like, you bring it back. <laughs> they wouldn't know. How would I get a, a, a sealed copy for saying summons wrong, though? Faulty cart. Lord Burroughs, my ancestor, hear me. I know of your pain and anger when you lost your beloved daughter Annabelle. Just before the ritual of engagement, my love for Elissa led me to kill her father, Philip. Entity was everything you're doing. Is it all because of you? Do you want me to resurrect Lord Burroughs after 400 years? To unite us and to enact the ritual of engagement with Alyssa's blood? Is that what you want? Do you truly want me to stab my dearest granddaughter in the chest? <gasps> <laughs> well, that doesn't sound bad. Once the deed is done, I will be with Alyssa forever. Return to this earth, Lord Burroughs. Join with me, and we will complete the ritual of engagement. Are you done with Breath of the Wild, Martha? And let our flesh be fused. What are you playing, Pixel? Ooh. Do, 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 do. What is it you do, Pixel? Actually. If you don't want to say it's what if. Some people don't like saying, do they? Like, Bookmark's got top-tier job. She'd be coming in here, like... Yeah, working for the government, doing Metal Gear things. Like, you know what I mean? Now you know everything, Alyssa. <laughs> the one who's after your heart is none other than your grandfather, with the blessing of our own Lord Burroughs. You've probably told me that before, actually, Pixel. Once you have your heart, the two of them will carry out the ritual of engagement. And a new entity will be born. Thanks to you, our ranks will swell and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> now, here, Alyssa, you wouldn't sacrifice the life of a friend just to save yourself, now, would you? Chop, 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 Of the Bayonetta shenanigans. Do you know more than we know? I'll tell you right now. That woman, I think she made a mistake by asking fans to boycott the game. Because if you get in the way of a gamer and their game, there's kind of like hell to pay there. Don't ask gamers no to play a game. I think that's the mistake she made. Because they'll go out of their way looking for an excuse not to boycott it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Projector continues to radiate light.
Hmm. Something to do here? Hmm. But that's not what she says, is it? So is it a he said, she said thing? Or, you know what I mean? Like, Platinum came out and said that. But, like, she distinctly said 4K. So, like... And it is just a he said, she said thing. That's what I mean. So, like... People just believe, so they believe Platinum now because they're the latest people to say things. There was also people collaborating her story by saying stuff like, I've been offered four grand in the past and that's it, you know? So, but like Platinum only provide their documents, will they? Either. Right, so I'm just wondering where I go now. Shit, I think I need to go on that one again. Goodness, this part, shit. Platinum should have hit her with an NDA. But if she didn't do the job, how can they hit her with an NDA if she didn't do the fucking job? Gonna get blacklisted, yeah. Yeah, but fucking who cares in a way, probably, she's thinking. Still, though, like, games companies can be assholes. Let's not beat around the bush here. They have treated people with a lot of disrespect. I'm not on her side or her his side or whatever. But, like, let's not beat around the bush that Nintendo are, like, innocent or, or, like, Platinum Games or whatever. They will, like, you know, be dickheads. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. But, like, how do we know that she didn't he was offered 4K? You know what I mean? Is it 100%? It seems like everyone's against her now, though. 
But like last week, everyone was with her. <laughs> you know, it's just that's what I mean. Like you ask gamers to stop to boycott a game, you're in you're in for a bit of a problem there. You know, they'll believe platinum now, guaranteed, because like they want to play Bayonetta three. You get what I mean, no? Scissor Woman. 22 victims, sentenced to 396 years. Okay. Judgment. Oh wow, she's not automatically targeting that one. Hmm, she doesn't automatically target this guy. Weird. This is the first boss where she doesn't automatically target them. Hmm. So that makes her hard. Why does she not automatically target this one? Look! That is really interesting. That's just made the fight harder, harder than it needs to be. Why does she no target this boss at all? See, like in every other fight, she's like automatically targeted them. So this has made it like ten times harder. Probably because it would be too easy. Seems a bit off though. Like, how am I going to hit her? That's, um, like, really hard. Yeah. I think she does the auto target them because these characters would be too easy. If you didn't, but that seems like what a what a mechanic just to drop on the last one. Alyssa, hurry up and get me off this thing. Alyssa! Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because we need to fight him too. But it just seems weird to drop a mechanic to me, but. No, you are playing as Bayonetta. It's the same Japanese voice actress. That's all debunked, you know? Suzorman. 37 victims. 820 years. Okay, now this guy is. Are we auto targeting this guy, though? If that would be actually hilarious. He's harder, though. This guy's actually, like, quite a dick. Oh, wow, we auto-target him, though. What a fucking weird... ...thing to do. I just find that absolutely, sh like, mind-boggling why she couldn't auto-attack. Oh, wow, that's actually a... Damn, this guy's a dick. Wow! Come on now, sir. Come on, Alyssa. Yeah, this guy is. He was a problem. Come on, Alyssa. Wow. Back it up. Come on, walk, walk in front of it. Come on! 
Come on, Lisa. Come on, dude. Back it up. Come on, walk, walk in front of it. Come on. Come on. Damn it. I fucked that up. Did that no even get him? Wow. I'm fucked. This guy is the hardest one so far. He got lucky. <laughs> what? How am I supposed to run away from things like that in this kind of fucking camera? I'm moaning. I'm moaning. That pissed me right off. Holy shit. That really pissed me off there. Like, what? Come on. Oh, well. They gave us... I thought we would go back to like... Okay, whatever. That one pissed, pissed me off there, dude. Shut it, loser. Sentence you to death, asshole. That's cheap. That is cheap, though. I've actually... I'm winning. And then he pulls that out. Oh, well. Maybe he's no dead because he's got quite a health bar on him. What are Nintendo like working for them though? I see, didn't think so. So. See, part of me thinks that the reason they only give things like Link a voice and all that comes... It's probably because they don't want to pay a voice actor either, though. <laughs> I'm the winner. That ink ribbon chick's playing Parasite Eve again. Toga. Do 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 Thank you, Denny. There's costumes in this game, by the way. What kind of costumes do you think there are? Spoilers. Leather ones. This guy absolutely triggers me. This Ron Weasley. He better know what end up where. You destroyed all the subordinates. You think you're so clever, but you still have to destroy me. If you want to save your mother, Come up to the top of the clock tower. I'm waiting. Grandfather, 
grandfather? The real identity of the Dark Man. It's my grandfather. I have to go, Dennis. You stay here. Yes, Dennis. Listen, Don't treat me like a girl. I'm the man here. <laughs> Dennis, you may be a man, but you're not a ruder. I am. Hey! Don't leave me, Alyssa! I'm the man here! That is hilarious. I th they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> they gotta be. I'm the man here. That has gotta be done on purpose. It's hilarious to... <laughs> Actually hilarious. I feel like I remember this boss being pretty tough, which is why we save the special arrows for him, you know? But I don't know, I can't remember. I think he's a bit unfair though, from what I remember, I don't know. Prepare for some triggering though. Get the salt out. Yeah, cool, like, cowgirl outfits and shit, you know? 14 year old cowgirl outfit. We dig those. Like, Capcom went all in with this, the outfits. In this game. We really like New Game Plus outfits. There's a Sakura one from Street Fighter. I'm the man here. Maybe a man. You're not a ruder. <laughs> Need a remake of this game. Fuck Clock Terror one. I went on the Clock Terror Reddit last night just to see the the overall thoughts of the, you know some diehards are like yo this game is shit you know it's like actually shit though dog shit. And I'm like dude best one I've played out of all of them you know the most fun of them. But to be fair I understand it from a survival horror aspect or something. Um, the first game does have that mystery going on, and you know. Can I turn around or. Nope. There's also this thing where I think in the first game all the rooms are like randomized. That is a unique thing, isn't it? It's never really. I remember that. But I, d I didn't know it was a thing when I played, but like, because I've only ever played it once. But apparently, some rooms are like randomized in that game, which is something I've never done in any other game since, to be honest. Do 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 do. Right, I need I need to like look at these arrows again because I. I I've even forgot how you use them. Hmm. I don't know. This game is actually overall, and I'll tell you now, like, crucify me if you want. An, an even better experience than Haunting Ground. You know that. Because Haunting Ground, as fantastic as it is, it's only fantastic for two stalkers. And that's it. That's where the game is over at being good, and I'm serious. 
I really like that game's atmosphere and all that shit. The dog pisses me off, though. He does. Um, but only the first two stalkers are sick and the first whole part of the castle. Like, the invisible stalker and all that is like, what is happening? You know what I mean? But this game is pleasantly, like, nice throughout all of it, in my opinion. Someone that Haunting Ground does not have. Because Haunting Ground is basically a clock tower game, you know? That's just my trash opinion, no? Oh, nice. I've enjoyed playing this game a lot. It's such a wee good game. Not really much to it, though, when you, like, think about it. You know, like, what, we've beat it in, like, six odd hours or some shit? It's, like, one playthroughs, whatever. And especially if you know where you're going, it'll be, like... It's like a Resident Evil thing, you know? It's just a couple hours here and there. No other scenarios in that. Which you could see as being a bit shit, you know? I looked for the price of this game online last night. It's not too expensive, but it's definitely a price I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay it. Just if you wanted to have a collector's version. I don't think I would pay it, personally. But Haunting Ground's worth more and I would never pay that. I got a sealed copy of that a while ago, when it wasn't in demand. Yeah. Come on, Alyssa. Grandpa. Grandpapa. Yes. I've been waiting for you, Alyssa. You don't know how hard I tried to find Butters Castle in order to become one with you. I searched and searched for three years. Do -do 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 -do. At last I found it. Do -do -do -do. Butters Castle used to stand in exactly the same spot where the Hamilton House is now. It's not a coincidence. It's all the entities doing. This is our destiny. Grandpa! Yeah. Don't look so sad. Our grandpa it's doesn't care about her, really, as long as he gets to be young. You and I will become a new entity, and we can be together forever. No! Please, Grandpa, come to your senses and give me my mum back. About no, your mum. Your mother is right there. Mum. What a sick thing this game does as well. We scared schoolgirl at the start. Fucking angel of darkness at the end, you know. She married that weak, lily-livered, good-for-nothing Philip. And then she tried to prevent me from becoming one with my most precious granddaughter. That's why she's there. There was no other way, Alyssa. Damn you! You're not my grandfather. I don't know who you are anymore. But I know that I'm a ruder. I'll destroy you and save my mother. Fool! 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 <laughs> yes. In a few minutes, the clock will strike twelve. Cervantes. The arrival of your fifteenth birthday, then the ritual of engagement will commence. <laughs> now, Elisa. Time to lie down on the altar and prepare to surrender your heart to me. Oh yeah, got a new outfit. Oh, that's sick. Alyssa. Fuck off, what Dennis. You, Alyssa? Alyssa! Dennis. Alyssa. Dennis. Give up, Alyssa. No one can 
can help you now. <laughs> Not even your dear mother. Wait, she dropped someone. Mm -hmm. All hail entities of the earth. Burroughs and I will now carry out the ritual to become a new entity. Ghosts haunting the human realm. Subordinates dwelling in the shadows. Gather here to witness the glorious ritual of engagement. Yadohe, Adohe, Adonai. The time has come at last, my dearest Alyssa. Merge into one entity with me, so that we can be together forever! Alyssa! A he man moment here. You little Sorry, Dennis. Now, if I remember right, this guy's an asshole. But I don't know. Lord Burroughs, 115 victims, huh? 2,280 years. Shit, loads of HP. Whoa. Double health bar. The bullshit, okay. Right, this guy is actually quite, uh, he can do it too. Oh shit. Right, so I did save them. Okay. This is going to be tough. Okay, I'm dead. I mean, you know. Well, I think what makes this guy tough is like his recovery is like almost non existent, you know? Yeah. Come on. Destroyed! It, what a difficulty curve, though. What a difficulty curve here. Every other boss, piece of piss. This guy's spamming my ass with bullshit. And I'm like, what? The boss is insane. Okay.
Christ, you can't get away with that. If you're gonna, like, eat that... God, can we ever get a full arrow on this guy? I don't think so. That's fucked up. I think if you do, you have to eat up getting shot. Recovery on this fucker. Cheater. Man, you do not want him walking around that because it just changes him. Wow, <laughs> this guy is insane. to eat one of them to get that off. Unfair. Oh, this guy. Look at how long this has taken. That's brutal. Kinda had to do that. 
probably not though, I'm probably gonna die because of it. Is this how you're intended to do it? Can't help but feel like no. I don't think that's going to be enough, but it would be sick if it was. Just saying. Let's do this. End this man's life. Come on. Nah. Got him! Get that piece of shit out of here. Tell me why you can't be hogging all your stuff in this game. You kind of huffed it, right? Alyssa. My dearest Alyssa. You always were a spirited child. But that's enough. Now be a good girl and grab my hand. What's the matter, Alyssa? Don't you want to live happily with me for all eternity? Never! Alyssa! You belong to me forever! <laughs> <laughs> no way. Take strength from me. Okay. There's no escape. Today is Alyssa's tenth ready birthday. to give up now. The ruder powers will become visible any time. <laughs> Alyssa is growing up into a lovely young lady. Uh oh. She is it. I wish for nothing more than to watch over her all her life. What's going on? That is not to be. Ready to give up the step now. she takes towards adulthood There's is no a step escape. away from her. Must I leave her? Oh wait, I ran over here to this goop on the floor. Cutscene hype. Oh, look at how good this cutscene looks. That's insane. Capcom, you are the bosses. Won't allow the ritual to happen. Uh, never. Capcom's cutscenes were always on another level, bruv. Like, look at that. Alyssa! Mom? Even to this day, that is impressive to me. Mom. You should just play it on a lower difficulty. Yeah, T Toga, I'm not kidding. God of War mode is no for everyone. It's for, like, hack and slash people who, like, really like brutal challenges. Actual brutal. I said it before, I think it's one of the hardest challenges since Ninja Gaiden games. Like, you should just play it a normal. Experience the story, enjoy it, because, like, the enemies are much easier to kill, you know? 
it's got the same level of flash as like the Onimusha 3 intro, this cutscene. I'm telling you, Toga. You're not going to get Ragnarok then. And look at this cutscene now. Can we just appreciate how awesome this looks? For a 2002. Look at these cutscenes. Fuck you, Dennis. Alyssa. We don't like you. Dennis. People don't like Steve? What about this fucking fool? Mum, we did it. We did it, Mum. <sighs> this game is great. That last boss is one hell of a difficulty curve. I think you really got to save all the arrows from for that last part there. You know exactly what it did. First bar is a pain in the dick. Spam the arrows at the end. Boom. Hardest boss in the game though. And actually quite a huge curve in difficulty. Considering, like, all the other bosses that came before it, really easy, you know? But man, this game is sick. Best clock tower game. Straight up. And it's better than Haunting Ground. As a whole game entirely, by far. Haunting Ground good for, like, the first two guys. And then it gets a bit stale after that and annoying. But, like, I, I genuinely think as an overall package, this game is more enjoyable than even Haunting Ground. This game's pretty underrated, I think. Because it's a nice, it's it's a good, uh, it's a good romp, is the word I would use. And it's like silly, but good silly. And it also deals with like, you know, some cruel stuff there. Because like some of the killers are based on real dudes. I'm not sure if all of them are or what, but. So it deals with like some brutal shit, you know, like. I really would like Clock Tower to return. But I think if it did return, I don't know how the hell Capcom would go about a new Clock Tower game. Maybe start again, they would. I would prefer if they done it in this kind of style, though. We'll never get this style. This, guy, this, style, this game's like a fixed camera angle game. Beautiful. We're not getting that shit again. Shame they didn't feel like remastering this for people and that. It's literally stuck on a PS2 for all eternity. Probably be really easy to put a wee remaster out there, like HD. Sunsoft also did make this game. Guys behind the Batman Genesis game and uh, Superman Genesis game, as well as Capcom. Yeah, this game's pretty good, dude. Nice wee romp. Well, I'll tick that off the list. Well, we've still got like quite a few ones to play. Obviously, Siren Blood Curse and that. Fatal Frame 3. I know, I do have the Luigi's Mansion here. Pixel, you were saying Luigi's Mansion would be cool, eh? Man, it's a shame there's no other like little games like Clock Tower 3, you know, it's 
I'm not playing Haunting Ground and all that again. We already done that a while back, so. Maybe do Luigi's Mansion next. Be a cool wee Hoover shit up. I guess you're not going to get Ragnarok now, Toga, then. You're like, you're like pissed off, you know? <laughs> Man, I, I need to play this game a wee bit more here and there because it's so fun. Such a shame we didn't, they didn't make an arm one after this. I would have liked. I tell you right now, I tell, if they'd done like a new one that was exactly like this, I'd be okay with it, man. I would totally be okay with it. It maybe shouldn't have been called Clock Tower 3, though. I mean, that's probably the only thing about it. Because it's like got nothing to do with Clock Tower, you know? Um. Ruder points. That's about the only thing, I think. Is if they didn't call it... They maybe shouldn't have called it Clock Tower 3. Just called it someone else. For, like, a relative blind playthrough, it like t only takes, like, five odd hours. It's really not got much going on, but it's, like, it's really enjoyable. That was hella enjoyable though. Like what? 